This is Ricky Gervais. Hi, this is Ricky Gervais. Welcome you back to the Obi Anthony Show. With Jim Norton, of course. Love Jim Norton. Love his little strange face and head and brain. Got Pat Oswald outside the studio making his way in. Yeah. We love Pat. There he is. Yay. Welcome back, Pat. Yay. <laughs> Although Anthony just creeped everyone out, so. I did creep everyone out with the fucking missing his airplane. Dating stories. <laughs> <laughs> I creeped uh, everyone out with my. Uh, he thinks the plane was uh, stolen, basically. I definitely think this fucking thing was taken by somebody. Now, what the intent is, is completely speculative. But it really looks like there was a, a concerted effort to mm -hmm. make this plane invisible. And then fly it somewhere for something. But my only question is, if you now have a seven seven, let's say mm. that was planned. So, and we have now stolen a seven seven seven. Yeah, you've got to refuel it. Right. You've got like, where do you get the money and supplies to do that? Or do they have that already set aside waiting? I would right. think if you're going to go to this extent to steal a plane, you know, you you do have to do a little prep a little, work. Uh, yeah, prep, prep a on prep. that. And and aviation fuel is just kerosene, really. So. I mean, those things fly on anything. I, I don't know about how. Uh, <laughs> I, I, I'm assuming it's really expensive, just because the 777 is so gigantic. It's but. Yeah, but uh, again, it's just it's kerosene. I mean, you get a fucking few barrels of kerosene, you top it off, and you're you're back in the air. <laughs> I got. I'm I'm going to talk about it to my dad. I was telling uh, Jim out in the hall that my, yeah, my he, dad he used to investigate that, yeah. plane crashes. Yeah. And he so I usually when something crazy like this happens, I wait a few days and go, okay, what is? Mm. I wait for all the craziness to die down. Right. And all the nutty theories. Right. Uh, Albert Brooks retweeted someone's Tumblr that had a pretty interesting theory mm. that fit all... The, again, but you can make anything fit the facts. You can. But she really made it fit the facts of that a takeover was happening and the pilot realized what was going on and uh, deliberately turfed the plane out. Yeah. To, to, to save, you know... Tens of thousands of people on the ground. Right. But, but why I, do they turn the things off 14 minutes apart, though? Again, I, I, I do The transponders. That. And yeah. that, isn't that new information? Yeah. yeah. See, that, I don't yeah. know. And again, then that's, that's very eerie. And what the fuck? And anything, as far as wreckage goes, anything. A, a lot of crap floats on these planes. Nothing has I know, turned up and washed up on a beach a week later. Yeah, and the fact yeah. that they keep... Changing the search yeah, radius yeah, the is search really radius. Uh, <laughs> weird. Yeah, we're expanding it again. Somewhere yeah. between the North and South Poles. <laughs> oh, okay. It's pretty much the whole world. We're, we're looking inside yeah. of a, a boat in a Boston backyard right now. <laughs> uh, just, we're just every possibility yes, we're going to yeah. do. Yeah, it's it's that. It is getting that creepy. So it's, uh, Jimmy said earlier, it's like uh, uh, yesterday or a couple of days ago, any theory of this plane being taken was looked at like you were kind of crazy. Mm -hmm. And a conspiracy. Alex Jones, you know, it's a false flag operation. <laughs> Let's get him on the phone. But, uh, but now this. it's, a, you know. Could you call Alex Jones? I'm serious. It's not that crazy to think that they're obviously constantly planning shit, you know? They want to do something bad again. Well, yeah, it does feel like, I mean, like, the, if, if, unless I'm mistaken, the attack on the World Trade Center in 1993 was a dry run right. for what went down in 2001. And and these guys have, they don't think in terms of a couple of months. They no, have 10, no. 20 year plans. Yep. So we could see, we could be seeing the clumsy beginning of something that's going right. to come back in 10 or 20 years. They're very, um, yeah, they're very dedicated to their cause. Uh, <laughs> patient. Yeah, very, very patient yeah. indeed. See, I'm an optimist, though. See, my, my thing is the plane was taken, but it's because they're starting up a charitable organization, <laughs> and they want to help people, so they're loading it with, with fun things like balloons and whatnot to have the big it's launch. Dump off on kittens. people that yeah. want kittens, kittens and balloons. Yeah, right. Right. Helpful things. So oh, these, these guys have definitely taken the uh, Axl Rose Chinese democracy <laughs> model <laughs> for uh, really, let's work on this. Right. Really get to bring in Buckethead, you know, they keep bringing in different guys, keep firing them. I fired all these bomb guys, they're not good, I'm bringing a whole new crew. They're terrible. Uh, it's, it's a little creepy. Let's call Patton's father. Yeah, creepy. I mean, he lives in Virginia, I bet he's awake. 
I would love to get him on. Do you mind? Because I kind of want to. Mind? I think this would be great. Right, let's surprise my dad. An investigator. And yeah, uh, yeah and I will. I will. Call he should him be up go, by now. No. Yeah. yeah. No. He's a. He's an ex marine. He's up. <laughs> this, <laughs> is, this is late for him. For God's sake. So, yeah, it's pretty yeah. cool. What's the number? Just say it. And if he investigated, <laughs> if he investigated plane crashes, this could be good. Well, he he was the one that talked me down when I was getting a little freaked out about. 9-11 when he just said, look, velocity, fuel, and steel together create weird stuff. Weird <laughs> things happen in every single plane crash. Mm. So to sit there and go, yeah, but in this plane crash, right. it's like that it doesn't matter. Each one is its own sealed thing right, and yeah. you have to just start from scratch and you can't you know wow. so that that made me go oh okay that so <laughs> yeah you can't sense. just take a past plane crash and go apply everything to yeah another one yeah. hey let um if you get him on the phone have me talk to him first because if he's like this is a radio show he might call hang up or something he's like so, uh, <laughs> so, yeah are we calling him now or yeah they're trying yeah all right you could put him through. Poor guy. Maybe you should have called first and said, look. Oh, you know, shoot, wait a minute. Yeah, you a little I preamble. Hold on, Sal. You don't call yet, Sal. Yeah, yeah. Sal, yeah. hang on. Yeah. You got him? Let me, let me, okay. Stupid Sal. Oh, Travis, wait. No, okay. stupid me. <laughs> no. So you call him first, and then we'll get him on, oh, on the air. Hey, hey, we're going to call. Hey, yeah. wait a uh, Marine. What else is going on, guys? Oh, man. I, I, I listened to your... your Show when I'm driving around LA in the afternoons. Ooh. I get it on 103. Nice. Yeah. So, but I always get it like, you know, it, it's two or three hours after it's right. been on. So, for all I know, like, what if these guys have all died somehow? Oh, man. And this is this ghostly, and the last thing was Anthony was mad at Obama. <laughs> oh, that, was, that was his last thing in the world. <laughs> I love that you guys went over the, the Zach thing the other day with Obama, which is one of the funniest things, and you still could not get over your hatred. <laughs> No, no, he I actually did. I said I thought it was funny, and I think if you just get the guys like on Fox News bashing him just for that, right. it shows that like, all right, you just don't like anything he does. No, I found that very funny. Yeah, no, like it that. was it was in. I thought, yeah, uh, yeah, and he beat up Fox for having to, you know, hate on it. Yeah, it's you know, yeah. that's that was just one that of was ridiculous how they had to hate on that things though. that you know, yeah. Yeah. it's kind of well, useless. Well, you pointed out if, if Bush and they go, well, he's just letting his hair down and having yeah. right, right, right. Come on, <laughs> everyone, calm down now. Hey, everyone's having fun. Come yeah. on, I, Zach had balls though, man, because that's even if you, both of them know it's a setup and it's fun. Yeah, it's still ballsy to say to the fucking. Sitting U.S. president. What is it like to be the last black president? <laughs> That's a, a fucking ballsy joke yes. to pull off, pre-approved or not. That's yeah. a great one. A funny yeah, line. you never know how that could go the wrong way. And Obama went with it, so you yeah. know, got to give him credit for yeah. going for it. I'm assuming he was a Zach fan first and kind of knew. He obviously knew. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, yeah. He's too yeah. much of a nerd. Kind of threw some Zach shit fan. at Zach too about. Uh, the Hangover Three and stuff. <laughs> oh yeah, it was pretty great. That was yeah, funny. Yeah, it was awesome. Took a, did, did a good job. <laughs> I, I, when I tweeted that out, I, I pulled the quote. What's it like to be the last black president? Which, uh -huh. and it was from, and I got an angry response, <laughs> of course, from someone who, by the way, had said earlier in her, on her Twitter feed, I have watched this video and this is brilliant. And then I pulled that quote. She's like, "Oh, you got to pull that quote, you racist motherfucker!" Uh, uh, Unfollowed. Yeah. I was like, "You just said you." Watched and yeah, enjoyed well, this video. Either you're lying or you're. It's just. Uh, they're unfollowed. really. Twitter. Un, I love that. I, by the way, I unfollowed. love the term. Unfollow. I realize unfollow makes people sound like I'm a Roman emperor. <laughs> unfollow. <laughs> Un, me, I will take me and my 18 followers elsewhere. Yeah, exactly. Good luck with your career, Mr. Norton. <laughs> you have made a fatal error. <laughs> really? I always try to think of something to come back with uh, when, when somebody is hating on you and uh, and then you, you hit reply and realize you gotta now do some editing and you're 17 characters over before you even <laughs> said anything and, I, yeah. and then you just and, go ah fuck it and you block. give up on it I give yeah. like, I don't, I don't have enough room here I don't yeah. know how to fucking condense all these words that's why you find that profile picture and you just find what, if there's a, an oh, obvious yeah. physical flaw <laughs> attack that is one of the greatest right things to the to schoolyard <laughs> yes hey, nice, nice pick you're married to send <laughs> <laughs> that is it yeah <laughs> hey i didn't tell you to put that fucking as your profile photo it before really you insult me is a playground mentality well, wasn't there there was a, a, a few months ago there was some dude attacked us you and me and we were going back and forth these and he was some like two white guys 
whining about something. Oh, boy. And then someone else pointed out, you say in your profile you're a lacrosse fanatic, and you're pointing out white guys. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then that's all people did to him. And then he was like, unfollow black. Oh, like he just, oh, yeah. you, you just walked right into it. They dude. can't handle it. Yeah, yeah, people don't realize sometimes that, uh, you know, there, there are a lot followers of Jim Norton and Pat Oswalt. <laughs> there, there, there are a lot of times I won't even have to comment. I just retweet whatever they tweeted and be like, ah, they'll take care of it. <laughs> our, our people will take care of this. Because <laughs> yeah, they hate it too. They see, they can see that douchiness. Yeah, they're like, yeah. oh, they've had it. Is. They pretty much have had it too. <laughs> I know, it's great. Where's, where's Patton's father? Uh, is this going him? down? I, I texted him. Yeah. He has not texted back. <laughs> I could try to call him when we go to break. He's still in his bunk. Yeah. Wow, this is... This is compelling magic radio, that guys. Really I mean, wait, is. Waiting nah. for a tweet from my dad. Waiting for a tweet. I uh, like that. It's going to take some time. It'll 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 build as yeah. a story. Now there's no rush. <laughs> How was it growing up with a marine as a father? Uh, I was actually pretty lucky. He because he was one of those marines that. He was in Vietnam for three years. Mm. He got shot in the leg. Wow. Uh, he saw some really horrific shit, and he was one of those guys that was like, "You and your brother will never ever join." The army. Wow. It, I will. I will kill you before you join the <laughs> army. The stuff that I saw, and he also. It was kind of cool having him around because he always gave me a great perspective on. Like I, I was the. I was the classic. Like um, these guys are trying to send us to war, and they're all draft dodgers. You're, they're draft dodging. Doesn't that piss you off, Dad? And he's like, Well, I'm. He goes, I'm pissed that they're. Like someone like Bush is sending us to war, but I'm not. The fact that he's a draft dodger, that's admirable. He found a way to get his ass out of <laughs> Vietnam. I didn't do that. I fucked up and went over there. So someone who avoided the Vietnam War, that act in itself is a pretty. That's a <clears throat> point in the pro column. Wow. Hey, he found a way to get out of it. That's a, he's yeah. a pretty smart guy. Wow. Now he should have also gone. Hey, I got out of it. I'm gonna make sure no one else has to go do right. it. But mm. but he goes. Uh, dodging the draft is a good thing. That means the guy is smart and thought shit through like I did not. What years was he uh, over there? 78 to 81. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he was he was touring with Mr. Mister. I mean, maybe I should have said that. And he got, yeah, one of the roadies got really mad at him and shot him in the leg. But still, he was like, you were never joining the, you know. And when he said when he said the army, he meant the two, uh, 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 the two boy army, which oh, was, uh, okay. yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so that he was. <laughs> <Jeez. that>. <laughs> <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit. Uh, you know, but I remember that my dad, the, the worst time for him. Uh, was when the movie Platoon came out. Oh, and not because it brought back any memories for him. He was just like, "It's a movie." And uh -huh. but what happened was, all my mom's friends were suddenly, Larry. I really suddenly understand. Oh no, what it was that you went through. I saw Platoon, and now I. I can really feel for what you must have been. Yeah, like, can you? Fucking leave me alone, all of you. And we were at a dinner, what people, some friends were over for dinner, and some woman just started in on him. Again, I, I just saw a platoon, and you just saw his shoulders like, God damn it. <laughs> and, and you were a marine pilot. Like, so were you, you must, you were dropping bombs on people that you didn't even know. Oh, shit. Like, that must have been so, did you ever have any crisis of conscience, or, or are you haunted by it? My dad just goes, we only bombed hospitals and schools. <laughs> <laughs> and just like, I heard you shut up. He so pissed off. What was he, do you, do you know what he flew over there? Uh, he flew the F-4s. Phantoms, which, wow. Yeah, which were the, they were like, you know, the diesel, real, yeah. the, those were the last before everything got computerized. Right. The old, yeah. jets were like cars. Those were yeah, those yeah. were jets. Those Crazy. were crazy. Really, very you you could very easily fuck up in your jet because <sighs> there was no computer stuff. You had to right. know everything. It was it was the it's the it's the it's the difference between like driving a stick shift and driving an automatic. Yeah, yeah. You know, wow. Those F4s, wow. Yeah, it was pretty pretty intense. Yeah, those are synonymous with the. Uh, like the Huey is synonymous with the Vietnam War. The yeah. phantoms are like the, you see a phantom, you're like, yeah, that's Vietnam. Yeah. <laughs> you see a phantom and you literally start hearing uh, Creedence Clearwater's right. fortunate <laughs> son yeah. in your head like, exactly. okay, yeah, <laughs> Vietnam, there we go. Yeah. <laughs> wow, a phantom pilot. Yeah. That's ballsy shit right there. Yeah, I, he gave me Damn. his old flight jacket, which he's like, never wear this in public because you'll be immediately murdered and someone will take it from you because it's so gorgeous. <laughs> wow. wow. And he has his patches like Phantom Flyer and Crusader like, wow. Wow. Just from his uh, squadron. So that is it's just cool. Like, wow. And he goes, 
never wear this outside. Yeah, no shit. Someone will kill you immediately. Someone will take it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you will not. And I, I'm always wondering, like, is he saying that I'm the kind of guy that people look at and go, we can get that jacket exactly. off. Exactly. <laughs> that the shit jacket's out of him. mine, man. He said that about every nice thing he ever got you. <laughs> yeah. Never ride this bike outside. <laughs> only in the garage in circles. <laughs> <laughs> We just got you a really nice shirt from Jake. Yeah. Don't wear this outside. Don't wear it. Please. <laughs> Begging you. Where did he get shot? Uh, he was shot in what, like, what part of his body or where in You Vietnam? said the leg, right? Or yeah, no? in the, in the right leg and it kind of went up into his, um, oh. it was, it was bad. But he's, I mean, again, my dad, and he was shot in, oh, uh, I don't know what part of Vietnam he was shot in, but he was, he was with a, um, uh, he was with the Anglico company that they, they were, they are trying to train the uh, South Vietnamese kind of take over, you know, and, and run shit. Well. Would, <laughs> 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 and, uh, so he got himself <laughs> shot and it was, uh, it was pretty bad. Although now he still, he runs and sw- he, he's, wow. it, it, it's the worst having an ex-Marine dad. The one bad thing is they stay really fit, uh-huh. you know, and he, I mean, he has diabetes, but he still swims and runs and, and he's so goddamn fit. I'm just oh, like, shit. you know, Dad, b- being 45 is really tough, keeping the <laughs> weight off. And uh, I'm trying to do fast walking now to save my knees. And uh, this, do you do these ellipticals? The elliptical is pretty good. Oh, Low impact. Uh, like, I could not be more of a, how did this guy, there, uh, there was a, literally a, uh, I put a picture of him on Twitter on Veterans Day, where in standing in front of his F four, and and and, huh. and I thought people were like, "Wow, that's great!" And they're all like, "How the fuck did that guy make oh. you?" Like, oh, was, oh man, that was the only responses I got. Block, was block, block, <laughs> yeah. block, fuck you. Tears, tears, hater. crying, hater. I want to see the picture now. Of your, of your pops, yeah. I put We're it trying to phone. find it. Well, go to um, go to, go to my Twitter feed. And just go to the pictures, and you'll see it. He's yeah, in good. front of his F four, and you're like, wait, that's, that's the guy that made the sidekick on King of Queens. Uh, <laughs> <really>? <laughs> <laughs> what happened? It'd be like finding out that uh, uh, uh-huh. Mason Reese came out of uh, Mason Arnold Reese. Schwarzenegger. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh. Oh yeah! Oh, there, there you go. go! Wow, that's your dad. That's Look at that! Cool. Look at that! Well, you can't see that because it's radio. Well, go, kind yeah. of a go to Pat Oswald filter st- Twitter. Yeah, that. go to my Twitter. That's Instagram. go to the pictures. That's the Phantom Flyer in front of the Z four. Cool as How shit. the hell do you fly that? I swear, to, I know. Unbelievable. Literally. That much, and, and again, no computers. No. Basically, he probably had the same computer power that like an Atari 2600 Right? Had. Not yeah. even a phone, right? No, exactly. Jeez, yeah. My phone nuts. has more computing power than that plane. That is what a badass, though. <laughs> yeah. And then me. Hi, welcome to Cranberry's <laughs> Comedy Club. <laughs> oh, it's some funny thing. The Star Wars movies are coming out. Air Force commercial coming on, uh, what coming the... on the TV. Or as, my dad, or as my dad would call them, the chair force. Chair force. <laughs> get it? Yeah, he was oh, so... He it. <laughs> like the old days. That's right. Yeah, chair force. He was Marine, so... Chair force. <laughs> oh, they must hate the Air Force as being coddled. Yeah. Because they're, they're treated so well. Each, each branch hates each other. They all are yeah, making yeah. fun of each other and how much they can't stand it. You're like, no, those guys aren't real. We are the only... Yeah, and and the, the the Air Force, I'm sure, feels the same way about the Marines. Yeah, the, the Air Force yeah. is treated the best, I think. Though I, I think those guys get the best food because they're the, they're like the pilots. Yeah, yeah, they're but the, the Marines they do, and then the naval yeah. aviator. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, so yeah. and then yeah. the army is like the dregs. Oh, oh yeah, army's always just. <laughs> yeah. Boy, do they get shit on? <laughs> yeah, they don't even get flown over to the war. They have to get themselves there. <laughs> <laughs> Got to start a Kickstarter campaign yeah. just to get yourself <laughs> over to the battle. <laughs> Ugh. I tried out for the, I joined the, uh, the Navy, but I didn't make it because I, they put me in this pool and I went underwater and I turned upside uh, down turned and upside I down. couldn't get out and they yelled at me and. <laughs> Do you award you? Yeah, he certainly did. And that my was young, really? My young red hair. Yeah, <laughs> sweet yeah, remember. Yeah, when, when, when they say drop on request, they mean their request, not <laughs> yours. <laughs> yeah, we are gonna D-O-R-U. Yeah. We're DORing it for you. <laughs> that was like, is that Caruso's first movie when he's in fucking, uh, uh yeah, well, it, was, it was an early one. Yeah. Oh shit, that's right, he is in there. He's yeah, the he's guy. The one that he turned up so he just couldn't get out. He's panicking. Yeah, it's panicky Pete. You, wait a minute, you did that thing. Oh no, I was no, just no, kidding. Was... I was just referencing it because oh, it was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, no, yeah. I, I, could, I could see a young Jim Norton in his. Oh man, in his uh, parachute pants. Exactly <laughs> having a Biloxi blues uh, incident. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, ex- except it's with the Christopher Walken character. <laughs> hey, how was it uh, doing the Seinfeld show? 
I was a big fan of that web series. Oh, it, that was so much fun. I mean, it, you know what he, you know what he did, and 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 you'll you'll agree with this. He recreated what comedians do on the road to kill the day before mm. the show, which is... Got you a hooker? There's their one getting a hooker with uh, Jim Norton. <laughs> comedians oh, wow. in cars getting hookers. Yeah, comedians incarcerated. <laughs> <laughs> but it's that, oh, we can turn getting coffee into a five-hour thing. Right. right. But we sit and we bitch about our careers and we philosophize uh, yeah. as to what real comedy is. So yeah, that is the life of a comedian during the day, is how do I kill... But the eight hours before mm, the show. But your car broke down. Well, he he went. He wanted to get a DeLorean. Yep. So he picks you up in the DeLorean, and I'm and in it's on film. It gets to the bottom of the hill that my house is on, and completely Just died. breaks down. And it breaks down like the way cars break down in bad comedies where. Smoke is coming out <laughs> and goo is coming out of the back and just dripping. Like it looked like it was rigged yeah. to do that. And, and and for a second I thought it was, and then um, that's when Jerry went, "Do you have like uh, Ubu or something like that or whatever? What's it called? Uber, 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 Uber right. or something?" And I was like, "Yeah, I have Uber." And I he goes, "Well, maybe you should get a car, and we'll we'll try to find another DeLorean." And they had an, he Jerry Seinfeld. He had another DeLorean. He found another, another DeLorean, and that came and met us downtown. Wow, <laughs> God, yeah, that's. Power. Yeah, yeah, we need yeah. a DeLorean. Give me another DeLorean. Yeah, no problem. I, I need a DeLorean to meet me somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> I literally can't get an Uber half the time. I have a fucking app. I need a DeLorean yeah. to meet him. <laughs> yeah, they see your name. Oh, God. I know what he wants me for. Yeah, no tip and one star of rating. This guy stinks. <laughs> I like Seinfeld more after this. Comedians in cars getting coffee. Well, he's, I, he's got more of an edge to him than I think most people realize. He does, and there was some stuff that they cut out of our segment um, where we kind of got into an argument. Really? Not a mean one, but a, a thing about it. I was more, he, he's more about, I like to get a bit and really refine it and I just, and I do it and that's what I like to do and it's, you know, I I, I mm. treat them as songs. I'm like, I get a bit to where I think it's perfect and then it's done and I want to keep generating new stuff. Right. I never want to repeat stuff. Once once it comes out on an album or a special, it can never be said again on right. stage. Like that's yep. my philosophy. And he had a and he put up a pretty good argument, I thought, for how his way of seeing things. Mm. <clears throat> but um, it was it really was like these kind of two uh, generations of because he did come from a time. Not that he's from the forties or something, but there was a mm. time where. Because the Tonight Show loomed over everything with Carson, it was all about honing and getting it perfect. Mm -hmm. And I came up I, when I was coming up, the, I saw the Tonight Show go away, so it became more about okay, you got to generate new stuff, and you know that now there's a lot more material windows open. Yeah, exactly. Right. Because I do way more podcasts and shows and stuff like that, and I realized, oh, well, if Seinfeld's going to go do comedy, he can just go right to The Tonight Show. Yeah, right. yeah Happy exactly. Him, so he's going to have something that's ready to go. I would have just uh, <clears throat> I would have just hit your argument with the, the Seinfeld theme on my phone. <laughs> oh, really? You think that's the best, best way to do it? <laughs> yeah. I think my way is good. <laughs> hey, can you uh, rewind this a little bit? Here's the scene from uh, Comedians oh, in Cars Getting Coffee with the DeLorean. Oh, yeah. Crapping out. Wow. Oh, it is smoking. You see the, Look the at that. stance oh. of fear? It really looks like I it just Uber came back from the future. Yeah. I'm not feeling a bit here, are you? The, the <laughs> only thing that makes it possibly a bit is that it's a DeLorean, and in a weird way, you and I are reliving symbolically the whole rise and fall. This is this literally... sounds like a panel story to this me. Is, <laughs> oh, I, I didn't know that we had different categories. Holy oh, that's shit. panel, my friend. Please. Is panel better than a bit? Is, is panel... No. Oh, okay. Bits is Nothing always... Nothing better you... than a bit. A, a, a killer bit. A bit is a bar of gold. A talk show panel story is something that's too good to throw out, but right. not good enough to use. <laughs> uh, <laughs> like this car. That was, kind of, that was kind of the beginning of what our... What did Roger Ebert say? That's no good. good movie is long enough, and no bad movie is short enough. That's a good line. Yeah. And well, so long and short are, are code words for good and bad. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> there are eight-second videos that I can't watch two seconds of. That's notes. No. Uh, no, never like a, got him. You're like a unicorn. Yeah. <laughs> I'd be writing on sketch shows, and they would literally say, uh, the Hitler sketch is really funny, 
Does he have to be so anti-Semitic? <laughs> <laughs> to try to fix the I car. Got that that note. And then cutting in the it was this DeLorean huge event. Is great. It was in Time magazine, and literally six months later, they're like, "Yeah, he's alive." Okay, now I want to ask you: How would you have killed Superman? Superman gets his powers from our yellow sun. Oh, you're, but your listeners are literally switching up themselves. No, no, no. They're all curious. So make it a thing where it's like, the longer he stays here, now it's starting to kill him. Huh. And then there's a massive disaster looming. Do I stay and stop this thing happening, but then die in the process? Or do I leave and save myself? That's really good uh, story good thinking one. you just did there. I would like to see your screenplays. <laughs> oh. I'm just joking. I have no interest in that. <laughs> He is such a I actually prince. had a moment of hope. Like, hey, wow. I don't want to. You think he's into me? <clears throat> I, yeah, I loved uh, Jerry Seinfeld after this whole series. It was yeah, great. yeah. He, what about what about downtown LA? That whole thing's coming. Uh, it's crazy. It, it is. That's what you guys. Yeah, I, what, it, why does Jimmy say? No, I'm well, laughing at, at the uh, at fucking. Uh, Oh, that line? Yeah. That was great. Yeah. yeah. But you guys ended up in downtown L.A., which is... In downtown L.A., which was the... Uh, making a comeback. Well, it, it, it's not... It, it's making a comeback slash uh, doing what Brooklyn did. Right. Exact same thing, which is bring in the hipster coffee the hipsters. shops. And, the, and I say, like, if you want to be a downtown hipster, you got to get a, a way too mm -hmm. expensive dog that's going to die too early. <laughs> uh, you got to have... Um, <clears throat> uh, distressed jeans that cost more than new jeans, mm -hmm. uh, and then you got to have a a creative loft space <laughs> right. that you ride a bicycle around in. And but that's all; it is all happening. Downtown LA is now is Brooklyn, basically. Wow, it really? really? Is. Except that, unlike well, there's parts of this in Brooklyn too. Three blocks of gentrified, gorgeous hipsterism, and then literally on the next block, it's immediate death. If right. you walk in there, you're immediately murdered. And when, whenever they gentrify the neighborhoods, it's like they shove all the bad neighborhoods into one tightly packed specific neighborhood right. that you could literally, you could almost execute criminals. We're just going to throw you in the, it, we're going to have you walk down to that bodega and you'll be murdered. Like it's, they, they did the same thing in San Francisco. The tenderloin keeps shrinking because the hipsters keep buying it up. So now the tenderloin is the most concentrated three blocks of murder that you've ever seen. It's so horrifying. Uh, and the same thing in Brooklyn, especially in downtown LA. It's all... Yeah, the yeah. same thing. I mean, you, wow. you go to Brooklyn and there's some neighborhoods where you're like, oh wow, it's a it's a collective anarchist bookstore and a, a feminist coffee shop. And then you go to the next block and it's just it's like Puerto Ricans literally just like, oh, you're going to be killed. Yeah. <laughs> you, you really should go back to your little book collective because yeah. we're... I don't know what the fuck you're thinking. We gave you that we let you have that dumb lame block for yourselves. Yeah, yeah. stay out of this here. Is, yeah, go the Unless fuck you away, please. Die. I um, <laughs> I like the tenderloin in San Francisco a lot. Like I love it. I mean, maybe it's gotten worse and worse as time has gone. I'm in there like a year and a half, two years, but I love staying there, man. It's just there's like a sexual dirty vibe to it. Oh like, really? I, yeah, that's what that's where that all happens. Oh right? Jesus, yeah, all the O'Farrell brothers shits down mm. there. All of the um, down there. There are. There are transvestites that other transvestites would run screaming from in the Jesus. tenderloin, like frightening, amazing. And again, it's all <laughs> concentrated. It's all co yeah, frightening and amazing. That's a great. Uh, no, but I'm just thinking of the image of some awful looking transvestites, and I think I don't oh, disagree. Yeah. <laughs> no, I swear to God, I was like, I think one time I tweeted, I'm like, I either just saw the world's ugliest transvestite or Yafet Koto is doing research <laughs> for a movie. Because oh, I was walking through the Tenderloin, I go down to Market Street, and I walk because it's fascinating. There's like, there's people playing chess, and there's people just selling the most random stuff, and it's and it's kind of, yeah, it's, it is a dirty kind of gorgeousness yeah. everywhere. Yeah, and I would never, you'd never want us to fuck in the uh, the midnight run, Yafet Koto in a blonde wig. <laughs> Although the across 110th Street one, maybe you let him jerk you off. Yeah, that's <laughs> the alien one could do whatever he wanted. Are you kidding? I love that guy. The alien you. Fat Koto can do whatever he wants. That guy's gorgeous. <laughs> Fucking gorgeous. Isn't he, uh, is he converted to Judaism or was he born Jewish? I think it's a Jewish, uh, am I crazy to say that? Really? Well, I think that's a Jewish Oh, name. I don't know. I don't know. Okay. I, wow, that's, I, I, I had never heard that. I never heard that he was Jewish at all. I had heard that, but yeah. I, if, if they don't turn up in Adam Sandler's Hanukkah song, I don't know who he is. <laughs> Until he sings about him, I won't, I will not acknowledge it. Who were people surprised was Jewish from that song? There were some people that you're like, oh, I didn't know he was a... Uh, Linda Evans. 
Oh, um, yeah. William Shatner. Mm-hmm. Goebbels. A lot of- <laughs> That's very no surprising. That coming. That's still one of my favorite lines from The Simpsons when they're talking about when, when they when Krusty is Krusty the Clown is Jewish and uh, and Homer's like, a Jewish entertainer? And Lisa's like, oh, there's a lot of Jews in show business, Dad. Linda Evans, William Shatner, Mel Brooks. Mel Brooks is Jewish? <laughs> 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 so yeah, that, but by the way, in the Tenderloin on Sixth Street, this is in San Francisco. There is a Vietnamese restaurant called Toulon, and it is on the diciest block of the Tenderloin. It is it, it's like the it's the, the, the there's the Tenderloin, and then there's the asshole of the Tenderloin, uh-huh. and that's where Toulon is, and it is one of the best. Thai restaurants you'll ever eat at, and there's even reviews in the window from Julia Child used to go oh, wow. there. Wow. Even oh. when the neighborhood was that tight, because the food is so fucking good. It's worth the uh, it is, threat it's, it, to, it, to your it's, life? It's worth the rolling the dice on the Yeah, yeah. Why wouldn't they go long. somewhere else with that? <clears throat> I think it's I, I think it's it's that they're just set in their ways, I guess. Yeah, and, and this is our building and we'll right. just make it, you know, yeah, we're gonna yeah. make this work. I went to a har- a horrible massage parlor in uh San Francisco. <laughs> I did. I had been looking at it for years. I've been out there with a girlfriend all the time and I was I was Let me time. hang on before you go on. Is this the one where there's these it's like ground floor level windows with the red curtains yep. and the white statues? Wow. Yes it is. I've passed that a million times. What Okay, what the fuck goes on? I in believe that. I, I think way, that's the one you, you talk about. You are Agent Cooper in Twin Peaks. You just went into the White Lodge and you came out. I've looked at that building for years. Me too. Okay, what happened? Finally went in um, <clears throat> during the day and it was a massage. You know, you, you know, it's never a good massage. And they're going to use baby oil. You're like, oh fuck. <laughs> Yeah. And uh, they didn't drink. Wait, what does off. that mean usually? They, they're not professional That's... massage oil. It's just a quick, like, rub and tug. Oh, okay. It wasn't even that. She, uh, I a don't tug? know. I, nothing, she wouldn't. She put, like, a little lame paper towel over my ass or something. Oh, and there was boy. no, like, you know, a little bit of brushing by the ass, if, if I remember right, but there was no hand job. Either they thought I was a cop. Um, sometimes they don't, if they're not 100% sure about you, they won't do it. Uh-huh. Or it's just one of those places. But I was very, very, very disappointed. You weren't pushing back a little? Oh, I so fucking, I absolutely did. Look like a cat in heat on the yeah, table. I look, I, look, I look like fucking, I look like someone trying to keep the door closed when an intruder was coming in. My fucking hips were bucking back. <laughs> where, where is your Food Network Anthony Bourdain style show from the right? Followers where? God knows I want to pitch it to oh, Vice or somebody else. I swear great. to God, Jimmy reviews and goes and. That would be yes. that Jimmy's would be a great show. Driver. And as you, and like each one, you're like In okay, every let's, city. Let's review. They did not use the right just right. his criteria. I would love that. And then everywhere I go, they'd be like, "Oh, that's the guy." So we have to be. They'd be like, <laughs> yeah, "Fucking, yeah. you know, I'd be like Zagat walking into a restaurant." <laughs> <laughs> Second <laughs> <laughs> review. All right, yeah, we just we got three Jimmies. We have uh, three Jimmies. Like, yeah. Just yeah, smiling face, smiling yeah, face, three sad yeah. faces, and one limp dick. <laughs> <laughs> That's a three and a half Jimmy <laughs> review. <laughs> oh no! Oh. Hey Sam, can you look up uh, Yafit Koto on there? Just, just oh really? The, now we have to know. Yeah, I don't know if he's Jewish or not, but I, I remember reading that or hearing it. He was really good in Alien. That was he's fucking, tremendous. Great in Alien. Right. Great in Blue Collar. Yeah. Oh my God, it's my yeah. favorite thing you ever did. The fuck, is he good in that? They put, yeah. the, they put the old against the young and the <laughs> rich against the what? Oh, it's fucking. I, I forget what it. The exact line is, but you know they close it's, it with that uh, quote. It's amazing. It's amazing. Wasn't well, he uh, <clears throat> Mosley in um, Midnight Run? Yeah, Midnight Run. Yeah, oh yeah. That was, oh, that was, I'm Mosley. Just gonna <laughs> just gonna upset my breakfast. I'm reasonably sure it will, sir. <laughs> <laughs> he does the best slow burn in that movie of just that oh yeah slow. That movie is one of those perfectly cast, not just right. the main people, even people with a line. Yeah. They got the exact right person. The woman that describes the chorizo and eggs to <laughs> Charles Grodin, the way she... It's a Mexican sausage, and it's sliced and grilled, and we mix it up with eggs, and it comes with home fries or toast. <laughs> and he's so starving, and he's just like, yeah. I'll just uh, have a cup of tea, please. <laughs> yeah, they have no money. I'll just have no a cup money. of tea. And then Daniel's like, I'm, I'm going to get five hundred dollars in ten minutes at the office. I'll get you. I'll get you a nice big steak. And then uh, Grodin just goes, chorizo and eggs. Like <laughs> burnt, he was, he's chorizo so starving. He was so oh, good in that. And then, like after that, what happened? 
Where'd he go? I don't know. He hasn't done much, right? Well, he didn't. He have a, a talk show where, like, yeah, he, and he, he got really involved and, in, like, I've very got a serious comment on, and it's like, dude, yeah. just go do, go do another Clifford. That's that one of the best movies Clifford. Ever. Remember Clifford? <laughs> yes. It's the weirdest movies where Martin Short just plays a ten year old and no one comments on it. <laughs> it is so fucked up. It's like, <laughs> yeah. am I supposed to be hallucinating, yeah. or is Groden having a a heart attack, <laughs> or what the, it is? It is one of the weirdest movies you'll ever see. Clifford. Yeah, he's awesome, man. Char he has. There's no one that can deliver lines like that, like Charles yeah. Broden. Like, you know, why weren't so you popular in the Chicago pan. Police Department? Oh. Like, what a great fucking yeah. annoying question that is it's to ask. Just every they do a potato. It's a Leonie's potato, <laughs> and it goes wonderful with it. A pot roast. <laughs> Would you shut the fuck up? Yeah, you can see why De Niro wanted to murder oh, him. For the great. Oh, man. Joe Pantaleone, right? Is, uh, yeah, Joey Pants. Is in he, there. Marvin's telling me to go fuck myself. Everybody's telling me to go fuck myself. <laughs> Everybody's telling me to go fuck myself. Why isn't that a musical? Uh, that fantastic. should be like me. Everybody's telling me to go fuck myself. <laughs> By the way, I don't know if you've, um, and I'm not saying this to disparage this is a, uh, anybody, but um, that guy, I mentioned Mason Reese. This I just realized this. Uh -huh. I don't know. Do you know who Mason Reese was? I do. Oh, yeah, yeah. He, Morgan he was, Sport. He was this. Yeah, Morgan. He was this little, adorable, toe-headed kid that was on the Mike Douglas show all through the 70s. And he Underwood was Deviled the, Ham Underwood commercials. Underwood Deviled Ham commercials, and he was just okay. this... That guy, Jimmy, you remember him. Holy yes. shit. Yes, Mason Reed. Oh, yeah, Jesus. Well, He was he, huge. Yeah, well, he and, has and a... Now um, he is huge. And by the way, he's... Well, I mean, he's... <laughs> Handsome. He is... Uh, he clearly... I mean, he was a child star. It could not have been fun, especially during the 70s. Right. He now owns restaurants in New York. He's doing fine. He's He's got a, two really great restaurants and bars, and he drums. He's a, like wow. he, he survived, but... He now has a YouTube channel where he's putting up clips from his past, and one of them is a pilot that they shot. Wow! Called Mason, <laughs> and it is, and this was done in the like seventy oh, four, no. and then they sat on it and they put they aired it in like seventy six or seventy seven, and it really goes to show you how things because it's about he's this adorable little kid, uh -huh. and his dad is the guy that played Ullman in The Shining, the hotel manager. Oh my manager. god, he was in Clockwork Orange too. He played the fucking father, Alex's father in Clockwork Orange. Oh, oh okay. no, no, Wait, Ullman, no, 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 oh, no, no, I'm thinking of Grady. Grady, yeah, 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 I'm yeah, sorry. Yeah. Grady was the dad. Yes, okay. No, Ullman is the hotel manager. Right. And yes, there it is. It's a 23 minute pilot, and it is. The most the, the jokes are literally the most casual child molestation jokes. Are you kidding? I'm not kidding. You should if we if you want to either watch it or go through it. But it is the oh creepy. My God, or, I love it. I'm just letting you know you, this is something for you guys to right watch to really have a good time with. Holy crap! Why don't we just crap. play it for Mason. a minute or two and just see where it goes? Boy, yeah. is this uh, and listen to the theme 70s. song. The theme song yeah. is again. This is supposed to be like a fun uh -huh. sitcom, and the theme song is the most depressing, dark. <laughs> Listen to the words. I love shit like this. Here we go. Wow. The still pics of Mason. So... Wow. God, it keeps going. Listen to him talk all about the fears racing through his mind. This is horrible. I love it, though. <laughs> all photos. Yeah. Wow. This could be worse than the Ropers uh, opening. Uh, before you know it, the child's a man, so... Oh. Oh, he's shocking. Wow. <laughs> Just to keep the listeners up to see. They're showing a phone. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Here comes Ullman getting out of bed. Oh, that guy. If I'm retired, what do I need an alarm clock for? I don't have to do anything. I don't I always want confused to him with so Jackie why do I Cooper. Have to get up, not to do he, it. He kind of looks, looks like, like a him. Jackie Cooper. <sighs> Superman so era. I don't have to get up. Boy, well, you say we take advantage. Watch this. Begging. Oh, morning. <laughs> morning. Honey. Morning, Dad. Whoa! Yeah. He just touched his son's ass. What? what have you done with your mother? She's making breakfast. I crawled in while her place was still warm. 
Did I surprise you? You came close. Oh, yeah, it, man, he almost... Uh, Why aren't you getting ready for school? <laughs> wow. We're going on a field trip to the museum. I've already been to the museum. Yeah, go again. <laughs> it's like, like the father's like, get out of here. Right. Leave me alone. How would you like it if I was trapped overnight and in the morning they felt me all shriveled up? The victim of the horrible curse of the Pharaoh. <laughs> Imagine being in the audience for this. Dad? <laughs> Doesn't care. Yeah. Don't rush me. I'm thinking about it. Oh, wow. wow. It's like child you abuse jokes. You know what I like about you, Dad? We don't have a normal father-son relationship. <laughs> Nick well, that survived moving better than I did. Who's the mom? But then they're used to being transplanted. I'm not. Hey, tell Mason he could get in bed with me. It was my own idea. I believe in self-expression. <laughs> <laughs> did he get in bed with you? I thought it was you. Oh, dear. Oh, that's okay. He only touched my tush and called me honey. Oh, my God. Hey, <laughs> get dressed and have your Could breakfast. Could you imagine wow. these in this day and age? Yeah. Help me unpack we'll never the, get The episode settled. opens Every with, I kind of felt the kid up. Yeah. yeah. Felt, now I want him to yeah. go die. I felt his ass. <laughs> called him honey. <laughs> I like it though. That's it doesn't. It, it's, it's it's better than any kid dialogue you'll see today. I like yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna watch that whole thing this week. Oh uh, yeah. Watch it and it's a get must a little, see. I, again. I don't want to spoil it, but there's a plot development later <laughs> that again. Imagine trying to push it. Quite provocative. Today. Now. Yeah. But mm. but again, not treated as provocative. Like ha ha, isn't this funny? And now yeah. you're like, uh, wait, no. Bill Burr posted a, a clip yesterday <laughs> from um, Match Game, and uh, I guess uh, one of the contestant or one of those celebrities did something and, and went to walk into the crowd and uh there was this fat woman in the crowd and she got up to meet her halfway and uh the, who was the host what was his fucking name gene, gene rayburn gene rayburn, Aye. Gene gene rayburn um <laughs> yeah <laughs> stick microphone the big stick microphone mm -hmm. gene rayburn when she was walking back to her seat said something like oh boy the whole the whole studio's rumbling <laughs> like he oh. made a, a fat joke and uh, Bill Burr put in his tweet, he's like, this would have gotten you fired. Yeah. Like, now, it just gets you fired. Right. Fired and a, a 9,000 think pieces. Yeah, about weight, about uh, yes. uh, fat shaming and how yeah. you shouldn't yeah, do yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Can't we just start outrage shaming? Can't yeah, we shame yeah. people for outrage? When they're Can't that outraged, be the next shaming? Should be. Yeah. You should be shamed for your outrage. Yes. That uh, would be great. We got a timing issue. We got to take a break. Well, uh, uh -huh. Just because Maria okay. Manu, uh, Manunos is coming in. All right. Is she here now? Yeah. Well, she's making her way. Okay. So we should take a quick break. Yeah. Patton Oswald is here. We're going to talk to Patton's father, hopefully, in the next next break. We'll yeah, see. Yeah, he Ooh. says we can call him. He just oh, awesome. texts right. him. We can give him a call and ask about Very the flight. Good. So after Very we good. talk to Maria, we'll do just that. And what are you promoting, Patton? Anything? Um, white power. <laughs> we got to keep the white race. Pure. Oh, am I, this is, oh my God, I'm sorry. Uh, There's another show I'm doing later today. Uh, no, um, you're on the right show. Oh, okay. uh, I'm promoting my, uh, I have a new special coming out uh, Sunday, April 6th. Nice. On Comedy Central, and then the album drops on Tuesday the 8th. Very cool. More yeah, we'll patties. talk about that later. All right. ONA will be right back on Sirius XM. You could change the channel, but it would be a horrible regret. The Opie and Anthony Show is back on Sirius XM. Best news ever. We got Pat Oswald in the studio. Hi. He was telling me during the break he loved the uh, Ron and Fez stuff we did oh recently. God. Proven that you do listen to the show when you're well, driving around L.A. I was late to a meeting, that, a kind of crucial meeting, because I pulled up and that was still going on and I wanted to see how it ended. Right. But so the match, sat there. Yeah, the I match sat, book and all the that. Match book. It, oh, God. <laughs> we'll we'll, we'll so get into creepy. that in, in a few minutes, but we got Maria Hello. Menunos in studio looking ridiculous. What the hell? So this is how you oh, I forgot morning. about the laugh. Hi, <laughs> I forgot about the laugh. Thank this you. Is, I appreciate it. This is like that Galadriel elf woman, <laughs> and she's just walked into a troll den. Uh, yeah. <laughs> pretty. Well, uh, ha, <laughs> they pretty. <laughs> We are despicable. Oh, I'm so. I'm just. I apologize for everything. <laughs> Hilarious. I'm so sorry. I really regret. Patton was going to move over. I'm like, no, you stay, Maria. Yeah, I'm like, I how this dumb am I? You are. A Why dunce. would I say that? What a I'm dunce. I'm a yeah. fool. You want to sit next to Maria? Do you? You smell very good too. Yeah, we sit alone in the hallway. Of course Thanks. she does. I'm in Patton. <laughs> oh. oh, oh okay. <laughs> so you have a show. 
I we all be so shocked. Sorry. 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 I can't believe show. you guys didn't watch wow. it. I'm so, so offended. Oh, I forgot you listened to the show, too. Uh-huh. I got lazy You're about to be uh-huh. interviewed by Jimmy, and it's like being bothered at a bus stop yeah. by a weird... <laughs> you, hey, you have a show, right? <laughs> I had every intention of watching, but I don't know. I believe you. You can come I went to, to our screening early. Monday or Tuesday night. I'm sure you would love yeah. to do that. Where are you screening it? Um, we're screening it somewhere in NBC... On Monday night and then Tuesday night as well with like friends and family and stuff mm. like that. So, well, that's cool. They let you do that. Well, wait, wait, I initiated wait, wait, wait. it, uh, and then uh, and then uh, they were like, "Oh, this is a cool idea." So they did like one for, you know, kind of press and stuff like that for Monday night. And then wait, we are we the Tuesday. press? Are we the Monday night or the Tuesday? I would have you guys on Tuesday. Whoa, that's me, my friends. opinion. Mm. But whatever you know, your schedule will work with. <laughs> okay, she would have you there Tuesday, but she values she her would, friends <laughs> yeah. and cares yeah. about yeah. them. <laughs> <laughs> right, get the, take the Monday. hand and go Monday. <laughs> yeah. Wait, will you be there both nights or only one of those nights? Both nights. Okay, yeah. God, cringing you, and, and yeah, in the well, fetal position. That wasn't a creepy question, chair. Travis Bickle. <laughs> you, will you be there both nights? Because I will be there both nights. <laughs> well, <'cause laughs> I wanted to make sure that she wasn't going to set us up and say, yeah, come family and friends <laughs> Tuesday, and then, but she's gone. We, we are man. so Monday people. Yeah, we really are. We are obviously Monday people. Hilarious. We got the hand. It's okay. We'll, we'll try to go Monday yeah. and check this thing out. What is the show about? I'm annoyed I didn't see it. Yeah, now I'm mad too. I feel unfair. I, I know. Well, I'll just have to <laughs> play by play, minute to minute, and then yeah. when I come in next time, I will quiz you guys yes, fair enough. on each episode. Um, basically, it's called Chasing Maria Menounos, and it's a, you know... The Jim Norton story. I was just thinking that. <laughs> <laughs> it's a look behind the scenes of my life. We have some kind of interesting dynamics to play in the house, because Kevin and I have been together... It'll be 16 years this wow. April. Wow. Who's Kevin? <laughs> we aren't married. We don't have kids. Nice. Uh, we don't know when to do either of those things. So it's kind of one of those questions that a lot of women are kind of dealing with right now. And so... And a Kornikova. It's in the paper today. Is it really? I didn't uh-huh. even see that. How they'll never get married. Mm. Well, there you go. Uh, they're at a point like, why bother at this point? Yeah. But I when mean, you want I the wedding the gifts? Way. No. Oh yeah, you're you're rich. I no, you it's not. But it's want. it's not about that. You know why? Because you know yeah. what comes with the gifts. How come I wasn't seated at that table? Uh, and why uh, wasn't I in the bridal party? And yeah, blah 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 blah. Everyone makes a wedding about them, and it's never about the bride. That I don't need true. a headache. I got kind enough true. headaches. <laughs> it's true. This it Kevin, is Kevin, though. I don't yeah. know about this Kevin. Not, I mean, not marrying yeah. you yet. I mean, that yeah. could happen today if you wanted it to. <laughs> well, I, swear, I swear to God, this when, is Travis Bickle from Ice. I don't know about this Kevin. He's weird. He stands in a hall. Uh, yeah, why you want to be with this guy? <laughs> well, to when we wanted to, <laughs> when we wanted to, there were some family issues that get explored in the show that kind of prevented us from doing it. Okay. His family or your family? You'll see. Oh, boy. Uh, yeah. Uh, so, and you got that stuff on camera. They were okay with that stuff being filmed and that's going to be out there? Or? Yeah, I mean, for us, like I said, I, I was just saying, I was in the fetal position watching these episodes because they are so raw and they deal with real stuff that's going on in our lives. Uh And so whether it's the family issues that we had, we have a lot of different health issues we've been dealing with in our family. Um, my parents live with us, by the way. Oh, my God. Wait, God. What's wrong with Wait, you? No, 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 no. You can't. Oh, that laugh. Right. That was, that was, I forgot Flipper. We forgot about the laugh. Yeah. It rings out like a song. Oh, oh that's nice. Wow. Um, Kevin's here, by the way, and I yeah. hear he's a fan of the show. He is. Is oh, that real, you though? You don't understand. Are you kidding me? No, I'm not. We hear that all the time. Oh, and then no, no, no. And by then we the question way, the person. I will that, tell you, yeah. he's the one. You guys are the ones that got us into um, the TLC show, with Paula and oh, right yeah. on. Um, 90, day fiance. 90 Day Fiance. Nice. Holy moly. Yeah. We were listening, and you guys were talking about it every week. Yeah. <laughs> and I would break down my opinions on the show, and you guys, of course, were breaking down yours. And now I have to send him sexy pictures of myself to pretend I'm Paula oh. because he wants Paula. <laughs> That's all. This is a whole other show. This is this creepy. Ninety Day Fiance. And did you I'm see it? I'm obsessed with Chef Nick. I mean, we like. Well, Ninety Day hilarious. Fiance. We never talked about the the finale because yeah, it was a bust. I didn't have well, to watch Ninety Day sc- Fiance yeah. because I would listen to it on this show, and yeah. this is like yeah. it turned into one of those. Uh, there's certain movies on Mystery Science Theater where it's like, unless you watch it with the commentary, it's not worth watching. Sure. You know, so that's why <laughs> yeah. it really was. There's no well, that's point good. They all ended show. up getting married, and yeah. there was no conflict. I was it was a big bust in the end. I wanted one guy to like really like the Cleveland Suffer. guy. <laughs> Suffer. The, 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 the look like uh, look like fucking Private Pile from Full Metal Jacket. Like I really wanted him yeah. to get his stupid heart broken, but no, yeah. he turned out to be a nice. 
Spice Girls? There was no, wait, it's been a short amount of time. Right. You yeah, know, yeah. It, it yeah. takes time true, for a divorce yeah. to get his money. It's going to take time for Well, there was so hopefully. much yeah. that but you pa, thought was going to happen. But Paul was a legit. That was, I mean, with that one, it's, I it's couldn't believe like they that was legit. <laughs> down in South America. <laughs> right. I think they were a legit couple. Yeah. The other ones were. You know, obviously for citizenship. I thought the Russian girl was flying the coop. Seriously. Oh, boy, did I. But you know what's funny? She seemed, like, so disconnected from him and that this was all a sham for sure. Right. And I think that's just how they edited it to make it look dramatic. Because Uh. when you see her in the wedding episode, even though they played up the whole vomit thing and she was so sick and she couldn't do it. (laughs) I was dying because way, when because you see you her, guys, how because of you guys, how you heard about this show? I know. Can you guys yeah. make people watch our show? Because you made us watch oh, this you show. Hey, you know, that's not a bad idea. Yeah. yeah. Now you got to be out. you got to be okay with him ripping it apart. Yeah, that's the problem. We can't be matter. nice. Yeah. It doesn't matter. You know what? Sucks. Sucks. Going, that scene. Oh, that was perfectly. terrific. Yeah. I can't wait to see the next That's what makes you want to tune in. Yeah. So you have to take the good with the bad. This kind of want to see disasters. You have to know. TLC loved us. I do like a good disaster. They should. I thought it was. Like a one. paid hit every no, week. Right? I'm like, how is this going on? Yeah, it, By the way, that's actually a good scam. It was. Yeah. You guys should work with the network. So we'll talk about I'm your all show every under week. The table. I'm all about the envelopes. Paper bag, nice package. Don't tell him. He'll bring you a bag every week. Nice. Like, keep talking. Keep you got to be careful though, because like I said, I, there was no point. I didn't need to watch 90 Day Fiance because I yeah, we we talked about we watched it. It was a better show on the radio. Although the although the weirdo on his honeymoon trying to have sex for the first. Time. That, oh, was, that was creepy. <laughs> that was oh creepy. My God, they were just kind of looking at each other oh, like, so, yeah. creepy. so let's just cut So I guess we're like, going to do it? We never did this before? <laughs> oh, I <laughs> wanted to uh, have uh, this closeness. Oh, my God. Oh, she was we, we've great. decided we're not going to wait 90 days. We're, just, we're going to do it in six. Yeah. 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 How, how about I lock this in right now? Because uh-huh. someone throw me a life preserver oh, yeah. at this point. They gussied her up like a model, and he was like, oh, I'm losing this girl. Right? So he got married. <laughs> Right away. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. He didn't need the 90 days when he's, he saw what what could possibly happen. He knew happen every day her. was one more day she could find someone else <laughs> yeah. that was much she, more worthy. She pretty much kept asking, where's Johnny Depp? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> exactly. How oh, insecure was he, though? Like, one guy winked at her on Hollywood Bill- Boulevard. He said, all right, all right, let's go. Let's go. Yeah, yeah, okay, next weekend. I don't like you talking weekend. to him. I don't want you to was a Johnny Depp. Here comes the ride. Here comes the ride. Come on. Yeah. yeah. That was brilliant. Star in Hawaii, man. Yeah. What kind of sex you think that was? Probably not good because oh. she she's beautiful, oh, yeah. but she wouldn't turn me on because she was too innocent and nice, and like that wouldn't do it for me. Like, yeah, but you need a little filth. Well, need a little no, no, no. The problem Reese. was because <laughs> the problem was you actually no no no. I think a guy would find that sexier. He was just. Yeah. Not the person to lead her, right? Because then you can lead her where you want her to go, and then that would be hot. Yeah, right? they were right? both just me, inept. It was like this weird so, Sven Galli, like I'm uh, going to build this one from the ground. <laughs> <laughs> First, a couple of words in Italian, <laughs> if you know what I mean. Uh, getting back to your show, you said yeah. something in there about uh, editing. Yeah. Are you all right with the edits edits they're doing with you guys? Yeah, I mean, here's the thing. For me, when I'm like saying I was in the fetal position, it's because it's so raw. I mean, we're fighting about various things and going at each other really hard in it. And then you've got the fact that, you know, we had some health crisis crises in there. We've got um, the, you know, the courtship of ours that was ruined and how all that kind of happened so that mm. people will understand why we didn't get married 15 years ago, um, we go back to Boston and kind of where everything went wrong and all we really like delve into things. Right. And so it's hard as someone who knows television to say, cut that. I'm uncomfortable because when you are uncomfortable, it generally means it's good. Right. Yeah, that's so, good stuff. Yeah. so I think that the, the show, because we were so raw and honest, cause I wouldn't do it otherwise, because what's the point to me? Like I'm on TV every day. I don't need that, especially if it's going to be. Yeah. So why are you doing mm-hmm. it? Well, if you do it, you kind of say, you know, <laughs> no, I'm no, no, you, we were terrified to do it. We were. But why, what, what yeah, was what, the what reason? I'll tell you. Yes. Cause this, guy tell tell them uh, which, which okay so you want me to tell? we used to <laughs> i will not name names but we used to live next door to a reality show family hmm. a very successful one Osborne. the mansons and <laughs> and Season three. kevin would be like what the f are we doing wrong he goes these people are living the life they're having parties every day they're drinking in their yard having a great time and we're working our balls off like why aren't we reality stuff Mm, right. <laughs> Even though he still didn't want to be on camera, he's like, you need to do this. And I'm like, I'm not doing this. You're out of your mind. Right. And so we said no a million times. And then finally we were like, you know what? 
Maybe the very thing that we're resisting is the very thing we need because it actually forced me to go home after extra, be home with my family, which to me is, you know, a dream. (laughs) (laughs) I saw the pause. I heard the pause in there. There was a pause. (laughs) There was a pause. There was a pause. (laughs) Sorry, Kevin. (laughs) Sorry. So, I mean, you know, all of a sudden I was actually able to have a glass of wine with my family. I'm like, this is kind of cool. Even though it's kind of creepy and scary to have people in your house, eventually Mm -hmm. they become family and you get used to it. And and then you're like sad they're leaving. It's like the Wizard of Oz. (laughs) I was Dorothy like, why are you guys leaving? But I'll tell you from a business standpoint, Point, you know, the end of the business, Maria, is in you know, the entertainment news business. I mean, you know, you talk to probably Sam and these the younger generation, they're all getting the news on the phone. So, like, th- this in the last 15 years, we've just watched it right can be compressed and compressed. And compressed. Like, you guys in radio, you know, look where 20 years ago, ah, where tell it was, me about to it. where it is now. So, you know, you have to open yourself up to other things to get more eyes and ears on Maria's brand. And, you know, there's a risk involved, obviously. And I was just. If for me, someone in the background, I wanted to take that risk, so, you know, because, like I said, I don't like where the business mm. is going. You just sold me on the show. Now I'm going to watch. <laughs> yeah. I thought it was going to be a fluff show. No, actually, no, no, no. no. Trust it's, me, it's, because it's, 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 no, I've seen those shows where they're like, oh, gee, Tom, mm. do you think we should go do this? Right. Cut to, there they are. I'm like, I will hang myself. Right. It will not happen. So it's not assisted reality? No. Where they give you guys right. things but to do. I no. hate those shows. And, and they no. always get, and I'm not and pole we, dancing and all they of a sudden. Right. <laughs> right. should probably get me viewers. But that you know what I'm saying? That could yeah. work. No, but yeah. when they, you know, it's funny when we were doing, you know, the, <laughs> they gave us the uh, some of the tips on the press and stuff. They were like, you know, don't, to me especially, don't say this and don't say that. Well, right. you know, one of the things they did not want me to say was... Uh-oh, here we go. No, from the beginning, it was it. W- they would walk in and say, "Okay, today we're going to do this, this, and this." And I'd be, "Excuse me." And then Maria's dad, who's an old school Greek immigrant, who like, well, you know, he'll fly off on the handle in two seconds. You, you guys can't are tell, fall in love. You can't He's tell this guy anything. Guy. You can't tell him what to say. You can't tell him what to do. He's a very, very stubborn guy. So he was even more so than me. Like, I'm not doing this. I'm not saying that. Right. And this was the battles back and forth. And that's why the shoot, it was supposed to be two months because they probably thought like, oh, we'll shoot three or four days. You'll do X, Y, and Z. And then it went eight months. It it's did. Bad. Oh, that's yeah. better. That's, well, that's way better. Yeah. Relax. Well, we kind of brought get it back the to the Osborne format where they're shooting and shooting and shooting. Yes. Yeah, you'll get the stuff. Just relax. It's there. But we want to be real. And, and I kept saying, guys, I want the show to succeed. I'm not. Mm-hmm. Maria's already a star. I don't need to make Maria a bigger star. I want the. Sh- it's. A, it's. A, we're in now, so we want the show to succeed. How's the show going to mm-hmm. succeed? It's got to be real. You right. can't cook this. Oh, good for you guys. Shit. Yeah. Eight yeah. months is a great time. That's why it went a That's long good. time. And there were days that I would. I would. I was pissed at Maria about. You know, one time we were about to get in a huge fight, and I just walked by the producer. Said, you know, they're shooting your dad in the garden. You know. Picking tomatoes, and I said, "Do you guys want to get some real shit? Because I'm going in the gym right now, and I'm going to blast Marine. If you if you really claim to be reality show producers, you're going to grab this." And they did. No and, kidding. Know, oh yeah. So, but that's I why blasted him back though. You know? Yeah. Well, well, <laughs> oh yeah. No, oh, all that laugh. I forgot. <laughs> as you might guess. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. Anyway. All so, right. But it's the only way. I think. I also think that everyone's smartening up when you watch these shows. Yeah. Don't you guys know now when it's cooked? Well, I don't know. I, then the, totally. When those Kardashians go shopping and they play like the fucking midget entering music, I love that stuff. I used to love reality shows. And then it, it was obvious they started filming these things in like four to six weeks. Like the real world, that's where I started with the, you know, on MTV. Well, you know, and those way, things the were six to eight. The real world are still good because they're just But they were six to eight months. Right. And the, the show, show was at least six to eight months. months. Well, here's the thing. They just got smarter and realized you can still get enough crazy in probably two months. I, they're still raw trust me because i've done the after shows for right. them and hosted their reunions. No, real world is no but it's yeah. that's why it's still compelling in the yeah. challenge and then you think of so we're smart enough to know that that's what works. it's cast to um beautifully these days yeah they get the beautiful people Not only is it, cast is it beautiful cast people beautifully the beautiful now people. after season three that's mm-hmm. the one where they get where, where that was san francisco oh, with that Puck. was great Puck was that, rolled. yeah, yeah. Oh, but wow, what happened was, was then they realized okay we just got to fill the seven categories yeah right yeah and, and they just fill seven categories yes. with the hot version of that category it's so obnoxious yes. and then so there's no surprise anymore right someone's gonna say they have the hardcore right-wing christian mm-hmm. then they have the kind of anarchist and they have the, the babe and the, the gay guy, the gay guy, and, the gay, the yeah, black and, and then guy. they just throw them together and go, "Oh my God, the hardcore Christian got the gay guy sad." <laughs> Do you believe this? It's a yeah, crisis. Yeah. It's like really, like every other fucking uh-huh. season, uh-huh. you do. Yeah. Well, and with us, we were like our when they were talking and meeting all of our family and friends. One producer was like, "She's too quiet." 
I don't like him. I'm like, well, I don't care. These are my real friends and that's mm. it. And by the way, wouldn't it be great to see my best friend since the seventh grade and I, the way we normally are when I go to Boston, I stay, at, I, stay at, <laughs> <laughs> I stay at her, I stay at her apartment. Um, you know, we get into her pajamas. My favorite thing about going home to Boston is she always has the best, big, comfy, warm pajamas. Slow down. Slow down. We eat our ice cream. Slow down. Slow down. Oh, yeah. man. So, nice. Sounds like my friendship with Pat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, when we go on a pajama frenzy. Uh, uh, absolutely. Uh, he hates when I smell the feety part of his, but it turns me on. <laughs> but the Still best like part about them is that it's all, they're all our authentic right. friends, and they're mm. not, they're not, they actually end up being great characters because they're real. Joe, of course. We, Joe, Joe just got harassed on Ellen the other day because I was who, on Ellen. Joe? Joe Gear is a, a guy that's been, with, uh, been my best friend for about 20 years. And, and, you know, Marie is as well. He's a big guy, typical Boston guy, tough straight shooter he's been living with us for 10 or 15 years and and how big uh, is this house like the circus car all of a sudden yeah. there's like more people coming out of the house yeah. it's, yeah. it's a big house but but the but the the thing is with joe when they were doing the reality show we you know sunday we get together for dinner and they uh, they would tell joe no 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 and i said he lives in our house you don't find it compelling that we have this big guy from Boston who's been with us for 15 years. Mm-hmm. And then I'm sorry if you don't find it compelling. He's part of our family. He lives in the house. Joe gets to the dinner table. And like these were like the bad. They were going to try to tell you, out, who, you know? who to sit with in your own house? Yeah, because, uh, you know, that's just how mm. how this is. But that's, mm. like I said, where you guys we got just... around most of that, it sounds like. We yeah. Back. I think we, 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 we were producers back on because, it. But so. also, Maria, right. is, is, I think because, thank God, she had the celebrity. So that gave, if we were if, if if we were situation in Snooky season one, mm. they would have rolled right over us. Good for you, though, though to not uh, go the easy road with it. That's smart. Yeah. That does make it. That's like, like, like Paris Hilton came in. Delightful interview. Oh, but she uh, yeah, no, very really open oh, and fun yeah. and really lovely. But she didn't. She, but how much Russian history can you talk about? <laughs> I, 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 no. That's the problem. Like, I get it. I don't. Want, I don't need to know every czar. <laughs> let's oh just God. let's talk about fingernail polish. Right. Maybe come on. There's let's have fun. <laughs> Sorry, go ahead. There's, There's absolutely right. nothing going on there with her. <laughs> but that's and why we were trying fit. to be. We were being nice <laughs> too. Yeah. She, she got pissed off at us she really was quickly. Cranky. But I think that's why it failed is because it didn't feel revealing and it didn't feel oh, it felt like like assisted reality too much. Right. You know, yeah. like there's certain things they probably but, have to say. But, but how do you explain the Kardashians? I hate that show. It's but huge. See, and I have to the, say in their defense, when I watch because I know them very well. Oh, you well, can't piss off the Kardashians. No, no, no. It's it's not that. No, no, because no, I, I, I wouldn't bring I wouldn't bring it up. That's your I would business. Just, <laughs> look, yeah, yeah, the reality show mafia. That's subject. No, I wouldn't yeah, bring it up. I would have just yes. let it skate by. But I do think when I see what's going on in their real lives, they actually yeah. do play it out. So they they are very well. See, that's why they're so successful. You can't I, take that away from them. I think when I watch the Mob Wives, I'm a fan of all these shows. But the ones that succeeded, it's. The real essence of them is coming out. Right. So even so, no matter where you stick the bar bars, you can put them in a coffee shop and say, "I don't talk about Dritas here." By the time they're done, they're arguing about something that they're very passionate and that they believe in. I think the Kardashians is the same way because you kind of know that the Kardashians were really rich, and this is not a created mm-hmm. life. Like this oh, God, probably no. is their actual life, and right. even though it's enraging for the rest of us, that's how these this family lives. So yeah, maybe that's yeah. the attraction to it. I don't watch it, but I guess that's the attraction. I'm babbling. <laughs> uh, nothing. Yeah. I'm babbling. But, 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 but nothing. I'm basically being. I don't know what I'm talking about. But I'm yeah. saying a lot of words. <laughs> I'm gonna just shut up. Yeah. So hopefully you guys will like it. Like many, I said, we'll bring you a couple bags, and you guys can talk about it every week. All right. What's it called? Uh, Chasing Maria Menounos. All right. Okay. And it's on TLC. It's on Oxygen, not right. Own. Oxygen oxygen, 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 Oxygen. At ten o'clock on Tuesday nights. Oxygen. How many episodes you guys got? Ten. Nice. That's nice. Yeah. That's, uh, well, I mean, 90 Day Fiance was what? Six? That was six episodes. Oh, my God. That was six episodes? That was it. Know. About, you know, it was appointment TV, though. Uh. Like, we never missed it. And then we were listening to you guys. And Kevin's like, okay, I need your take before we hear their take. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, Maria's got the go. Oh, he has a good take, too. Yeah. I, I thought in the end they were all going to be a bust. Maybe I almost respect... Too soon. Too soon. Yeah. yeah. Too, soon. too soon? Absolutely. And I also think they'll revisit. And I wouldn't be surprised if they, they don't revisit. throw Pop Power and them a show. Yeah, mm. you know, they're, they're, her following went up like five times after once you guys mentioned. The yeah, she's, she's her. pretty happy. Oh, with she us. is delightful though. Him not oh, so she's much. A, she's, <laughs> a good, she's a good <laughs> follow on Instagram. <laughs> Literally, Kevin, every episode would be like, "Why can't you be more like Paula?" And I'm like, "What a great girl. <laughs> <laughs> she is good." And those Instagram like, pics are very nice oh of her. So why didn't you guys ever oh, get married? Pleasant. Yeah, Kevin, what is the problem? Kevin thinks he's gonna get younger. 
Oh, I know. Shit. I always say, I feel, you know what? I did think I can do better. I mean, oh, I just oh, think it might be better. Oh, Jesus Christ. I, yeah, that's a joke, but obviously. <laughs> but uh, the first year was, as you'll see with the show, we had a lot of conflict. And then after that, it was just like, really, why? We were just so we got busy with punched our lives out and, and tired. Careers. And it was Maria's career just exploded so much that every year it was like, really, a wedding, a wedding. And now right. we're married in our hearts. So it's like, it, it, the, po- the pointlessness of it. Maria wants something mm. small and intimate. If I say do it, then let's do it. Let's go with the wedding of the millennium. Okay, and so now that's the fight. problem. So that, so when I do get sentimental, like um, Valentine's Day this year was the first Valentine's Day I haven't worked in a long time. So we actually spent the day together. And I did get sentimental Ew. and kind of romantic. <laughs> Sorry. Even though I'm the dude sometimes, I'm such a dude, I look at him like, oh, I'm like, I don't know, maybe we should. And then my dad will get off my back. And so I was like, but the problem is I, my idea of a wedding Mm. is get married in a teeny church on a cliff in, you know, an island in Greece and with just 10 people. And his mm. idea is, no, it's my day. Laser tag. I'm the bride. Absolutely. And All laser tag. I want the Kardashian like <laughs> extravaganza wedding. Uh-huh. And I'm like, for an introvert who doesn't leave his office, like literally, he does not go out of like his realm. He's a bit agoraphobic. To want this massive wedding just doesn't right. work. It doesn't make sense. I have a solution. It's oh God. Move the needle. Why don't you do it's both? Move the have two ceremonies. Some people do that. Like they were doing a night at Fiance. They were going to go That's to right, Columbia Jimmy. and have the second That's ceremony. Right. So you have one little delightful one on a cliff, and then you have the big bash, and everyone's See, happy. And my idea of a bash would be everyone come dressed casual. I don't want everyone having to go buy out, buy some outfit and all that mm-hmm. annoying stuff. I'd want a keg. Right. Well, lots of kegs. Okay. I'd want a like keg a keg party. Fine with that. Everyone comfy. But a keg giant keg cups. party. Yeah. See, I'm di- I, I would make everybody dress like it was the Renaissance. I want people. <laughs> I want people spending a lot of money on shitty clothes yeah. that they'll never wear again. It all looks like dangerous liaisons, powdered wigs, <laughs> beauty spots. Yeah. I am yeah. getting ideas. Yeah. yeah, just don't just don't Facetime your wedding like they did on 90 Day Fiance. How brutal was that? Oh, they set up a, I, wait, a, a the comp- ceremonies were pretty. Remember? They set up a MacBook. Are you yeah. kidding me? No, no, no. The poor Filipino girl who was marrying um, what was his name? The oh, the guy with no money. Oh, yeah, yeah, Lewis. Yeah, yeah. Lewis. 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 Okay. Uh, when they ever went to that um, little like hall that they were going to have it at, and the guy was like going over the menu, and and, and she's looking around, she's just like uh, horrified. horrified. Yeah. I yeah. was like, oh my god. How, yeah. How is it worse than where she came from? That is. How true. do you do that? Yeah. <laughs> How do you do that to yeah. a, a Filipino broad? <laughs> yeah. It was crazy. She couldn't get her wedding dress. <laughs> I know. They, they couldn't. I was like, oh my God, I'll pay for her wedding dress. Please what, uh, let me chip in. What was it? $200 you couldn't afford, I think it was? Yeah. Oh God, I remember that, that was so uncomfortable. Well, I, mean, I think it was so because bad. she was so hot in the Philippines. Then she came over and she looked like Chow Yun Fat. <laughs> and he was like, you know what? <laughs> I'd prefer not to do this. In a- <laughs> God, we love that show. Uh, we might have loved it a little too much. I, I know, know, but I agree. I think the final episode was a bit of a letdown. Yeah. We never did it. Because they were all happy. But see, now that's it. where we wanted some scripting. Because wouldn't it have been nice if they forced the Russian girl Something. to like not show up? Like right, That would have yeah. been cool. Yeah, or just tell him his disgusting smoking is really turning her off. <laughs> Siggy. Siggy breath. Siggy breath. Siggy breath. Siggy. I love it to be outside yeah. sucking down breath. a Siggy and then roll in. Fucking smoke around and have like pig pen. <laughs> Bananas. But they'll do another season of that. They have to. I think so. I mean, it was... Yeah, yeah. but they'll have to find somebody that like is really in it for the wrong yeah, reason. Yeah, of course. I'm sure Because otherwise it's not as entertaining. I, God, I don't want to watch that again. I was, I was convinced. Guys, Jim Norton sitting but... right here. There's your there's your next mm-hmm. season. That is true. Yeah, <laughs> I would love to do that. And then you ditch her. Oh my lord! You're the one that vanishes. Where'd he go? Right. Uh, Kevin, what's your career in this whole thing? I own an online broadcast network called AfterBuzz TV. So we produce after shows for all your favorite TV shows. So that's why I want you to tell me about 90 Day. I was like, well, how did I miss this? Because I that's oh, all wow. I do is watch TV and. We have 200 hosts that do these after shows oh. that report on all the shows. It's cool. an online thing. Online wow. broadcasting, yes. Yeah, so we have video, audio. We're Where actually is it? the first, and now we're the largest online. Where is it now? LA. We're out in LA. No, I mean the, the AfterBuzzTV.com. I'll check it out. Our stuff's on YouTube, iTunes. I mean, like the model we have is the early model for someday, if, if you, when you guys ever would want to walk away from this, like you could easily. So I've told Sam this many times. You guys could set up so quickly out of a, literally out of a garage. The way Corolla does it, except with us, we're also audio and live streaming. He's just, I mean, excuse me, we're video and live streaming. He's on. Yeah, we need the video angle, too. It's yeah. obvious. And you guys were so obvious to us. that, and then you got away from it. No I think kidding. You just the cord too early, you know? Well, yeah. it wasn't us. We didn't, we didn't pull no cord. Yeah, they oh. pulled it. They uh, did. They wouldn't let you. Yeah. No, they, they took all the cameras out. They took all the cameras out. 
It was on. We were on our yeah. way. Yeah. This merger was the worst thing to happen to Why us. Why did they do but that? But by that the way, you could contract if you wanted to set your own stuff up. You could do that, or could they stop you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We're allowed Believe to take me. Polaroids <laughs> and show them to friends. Yeah. Don't ask permission. <laughs> just ask for right. forgiveness. They have, they're going to bring a caricature artist in. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm yeah, surprised. They through the Unabomber. <laughs> I'm surprised we're still allowed to Instagram at this point. Yeah. It's unbelievable. It's they want to just control this. It's like, no, there's so much more to this. And then try to figure out how to make money out of it. I mean, because it. the show is still growing. I know you well, guys probably don't realize it. But, but I it, will it, say, the thing that's that's great about when you have that kind of resistance, because I've experienced it for 14 years um, in various situations, in various ways, where everyone wants to hold you down, you literally get so resourceful at creating a way to get around it right. that you get so much smarter and and there's just it's it's kind of um kind of a great a better way to do it rather than having it all come easily and having everyone be like, Oh, you can have whatever you mm, want. Right. Then you're kind of, you're left to afterwards, like say something happens. You don't really know how to kind of survive later. Right. It's weird. I don't know if I'm explaining it properly. No, but no, a lot not. of guys no, 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 have gotten no. an easy ride in the business, even in our business. And then all of a sudden when the, the, you know, bottom gets pulled out, it's called shit hits the fan. Yeah. yeah. They, and they don't yeah. know what to do. But Chips I think sometimes down. when you have the, then you figure it out. And you know. I know it bums you guys so up. So I guess we got to leave in October. You guys talk about it. Leave in October and everything will figure itself out. Here's what I've also learn to like at some point when you realize that you're not going to get any wind for your sale then it forces you to create these other opportunities that you would never have done right and then you soar so it's like it, it shows you you know what maybe i don't belong here wherever here is and that's okay maybe right. this is the brick from the sky that's telling me i need to forge a new path is that a Bette Midler song? <laughs> it isn't. Yes, you are the brick beneath my wings. Right. That isn't a Bette Midler song. Do you ever fucking know should that be. you're my brick? <laughs> yeah. You know what's so frustrating about these guys is they have fans on YouTube that put together videos when they go over like a Joe Piscopo thing or that right. Happy Days episode. They'll match your radio to the video. Right. And it's goddamn brilliant. It's and that's right why there. So if they had the capability to stream like, okay, go and watch what we're watching right now. We're going to comment on it. It's right. just so amazing. And with today's technology, mm. it would be... And I'm so easy. Pennies on the dollar. I could set this whole place up for you guys for a, such an alarmingly small amount of money. Well, we and, should talk. And, and, yeah. and Absolutely. But I mean, I can't believe that they would have the... They would... I'm just before. There's an opportunity they, there. I, it's obvious. Absolutely. Man, and up I think with that, with, uh, with access with Cubans station, and Maria knows Mark, but I know you guys do too. Where right. he's only doing, you know, that kind of live stuff, and I see some of the stuff that's on there. Some of it's very good. Some of it's not uh, high quality. He I needs mean, he, he needs better content. Then you have Audience Channel, where Artie is. I mean, there's a lot right. of places this could go on terrestrial television, but then even online, and maybe maybe it's not all caught up yet. But the technology's there, and you guys obviously have the fan base, and the fan, and the fan base uh -huh. keeps growing, which is mm -hmm. cool. So they gave me a little cramp when I was doing live from the compound. They don't even like oh, that. Oh, well, yeah, the Ustream thing. Uh, they yeah, did a little bit. I what have a CB radio thing. I'm I have forty truckers. The key is yes, their <laughs> whole. I'm not saying anyone in particular, mm -hmm. but generally their goal is to see if they can hold you down. Right, to true. see if you will relent and be like, but, yeah. fine. And just, and there are the people that will just keep bitching and bitching and bitching yeah. and never do anything about it. So right. as long as you guys are the ones that they think, create these other holes quietly, Kevin calls them like building your bombs behind the scenes, mm -hmm. you know? They think that we're going to um, use content that we would use here. But meanwhile, I was doing simulcasts of toddlers and tiaras. It's like, <laughs> right. Yeah, but it's what you were doing to yourself while you were watching. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the picture in picture cross game is what bothered people. Was that that they didn't need to see the yeah, ads. See, I didn't, I didn't know. <laughs> yeah. well, they have too well, much content. On well, the next Mason. <laughs> but seriously, I think, I think you got to create a win-win. That's wait. the whole thing. It's not so much going it. around them. I think it's creating a win-win scenario. So where Sirius is a publicly traded company, they, their thing, if you notice, which is why they do some of the things, stunts that they do to mm -hmm. get publicity, is because they always have to please a stockholder. So maybe it's, a, it's gang video on this. And and maybe it's just the interviews that go up on YouTube, but, and, but well, having enough serious swag around, so we we always know that the brand is always getting out there. Mm -hmm. I mean, I just no, there's you're, a sensible way to do this. You're too logical. I'm sorry, party. I can't listen to you. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm going to talk to Tim. Gets you off the radio. No, he's right. <laughs> I'm going to talk to Tim. And we've, we've tried every angle. It's ridiculous. And then you see everyone else passing, you know, satellite radio by.
Yeah. These guys had a huge... Well, Patton just already a huge said lead on you everyone. Have, you have fans that are already putting this stuff up that they're not stopping, right? Right. So right. The, the toothpaste is coming out of the tube right. anyway, so why and not And the fans are it? finding those uh, YouTube channels. That's why we mm-hmm. we have no problem watching a video now, because it has, I can't a, get it you has a whole life, life of its own now. Put it I, together. Watch, I listen to YouTube. Yeah, thank you. Mm-hmm. The, the, the Joe Piscopo thing that, that, that your fans put together oh, is God, epic. It is a it is a four and a half hour epic film. It's so gorgeous. Film. It really is. It's amazing. Yeah. And, you, and you follow this whole story, and they put the whole thing together That's with great. pictures and video. It's one a masterpiece. The, one of the better days in recent memory was when Anthony came in and said, "Guess what I saw?" I last was night. like, <laughs> I couldn't believe <laughs> we what got, I was watching. We got that weeks thing. out of that, oh, and then he came fantastic. in a couple yeah, times. No, Showtime no, no, special. I, the whole yeah. thing is on as one YouTube. thing. As well, one to come it's, in. It's, it's a yeah. saga. <laughs> it is a fucking saga. That's great. Yeah, of Club Pistol. And, and may I just oh. say, I cannot wait for you guys to watch this Mason special. Yes, this is I, I pilot am... because you are. That's going to be a whole episode. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and all I got to say is, when you watch it, imagine if it came out today, it would yeah. it would shut a network down. Yep. The outrage. Absolutely. On mm. And it was a fun family. Yeah, oh, cute. Hey, a little fun. This why is not? Mason Reese. <clears throat> yes. Yeah. Oh. What about Mason Reese? I heard it on the way in here. I'm like, wait, why? Well, how do we he... get a Mason Reese <clears throat> reference? Yeah, exactly. Well, he had a uh, he had a pilot. Um, because he was really popular in the seventies, so they yeah. shot a pilot, and um, he was a, he was an adorable kid, really smart, yeah, and they shot looking. this pilot, yeah, you know, quirky looking, interesting, and this pilot that it is the most casual. Kind of child molesty humor. <laughs> child molesty. It was like it was like an ABC uh, Family great. pilot, but you're <laughs> yeah. again. What, you, you, I'm I'm sell, I'm actually underselling it. You, I'm not telling you what is coming down uh-huh. the pipe. When you get halfway through the episode and go, is this the plot? <laughs> then, this can't, can't be the plot. So. I love it. Yeah, yeah, we'll do that. I think we got to get you guys out. He was here. the white Rodney Allen Rizzo. No, <laughs> Go. This is fun. Oh, you don't have to go. But uh, I don't know what we have to do. We heard you. Hang on. I need a new ringtone. Would you <laughs> laugh again, please? Sorry. Oh wait. Oh wait. I found someone with the most ridiculous laugh at the airport. Oh, I wish. I wish mirror. Pat was here. And you challenged them. <laughs> no, no, no. It was the TSA guy, and I, I thought I insulted him at one point because I was like, oh my god, he is the worst laugh. It's even worse yeah. than mine. And then I'm like, oh my god, he could get me in trouble, and I didn't even yeah. realize. Oops. Yeah. What was he laughing at? Probably wires he found in someone's shoe. <laughs> <laughs> I was telling Kevin, I'm like, he should do. Drugs. Drops for radio or something because he was like Whoa, like that at the airport. I'm Evil like, laugh. it's already creepy enough. Like when we're flying because we're so scared. Right? Yeah, to have that <laughs> to have that creepy. Price. And then it ended up with he's like, people always get scared of my laugh, and I'm like, yeah, because it's creepy. I go, and then people think mine sounds like a machine gun. The two of us would be bad together. Oh, yeah. Evil. Now for the yeah. body cavity. I wish we service. had is that because we recorded it. We recorded oh, you record it. it. Yeah, like you did he was, you? Yeah, it was amazing. Oh. I'm like, I need this in my life. Now, what part? of Boston are you guys from and how did you meet? Medford, Mass. Oh, Medford. Medford. Yep. Both Medford. Wait, I always heard the accent there. Yeah. Medford. Huh? No, oh, yeah. No, I have a hardcore cool accent. The problem is when I'm drunk or tired, it comes out. Oh, oh there you go. Yeah. Do you try to hide it? Because like newscasters oh, yeah. always try to keep their accents down so they don't have like a location. Right, right. I, I didn't try to lose it. What happened was when I went on camera the first time in college... It oh, went boy. away because I felt like I had to be like professional. Right. There was like something that came over me, and then eventually it just stuck. Because I would go in and out, so when I'd be on camera, it would be gone, and then when I'd be back to being, you know, my regular self, it, it would come back. Yeah. yeah, so yeah. producers would get so nervous because they'd be like, "Don't talk like that." On camera, I'm like, I don't know, but it goes away on camera. Don't make me nervous. So wow, yeah, I can really hear it when you like when you like mm-hmm. consciously don't. Right, yeah. right, yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. And how do you guys meet? College. It's such a beautiful accent. I met him. It's wicked. It's yeah. wicked. Yeah. Horrible. Yeah. Why aren't you phone, <laughs> phone sex with that accent? Yeah. Yeah. I'm yeah. taking my yeah. top off. Yeah. <laughs> uh, was, yeah. Who's your little cocksucker? <laughs> 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 that was the biggest shock when we went to Boston yeah. to do radio yeah. was how they talked. Uh-huh. Like, yeah, yeah. How the hell are we going to fit in with this? Right, I'm grabbing your cock. Oh, hang on, hang on. The Celtics <laughs> game is on. <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> Would you play yeah. a little defense? Sorry. All right. No, no, as you guys exactly. know, no more loyal fans because uh, it, you guys in Boston. They embraced that's, us. That's right. I mean, yeah, yeah. that was pretty cool. My favorite Huge. city. I love yeah, they Boston. Were, yeah. They were great. I, I miss yeah. Boston. I don't know if you guys agree because you've know you been here for a while too, but Boston food. Food is the best. In what way? Hmm. Every way. Yeah. I still have yet to have good pizza from this place. And everyone talks about New York pizza. John's Pizza. Yeah, there are some great pizza. In the West Village. Yeah. 
There's no yeah. good pizza wherever I go. No, I just, I just find the same thing. It's terrible. When we come in and it's always why. old and Sparrow, dry, and it just Times sits Square? there for oh, hours man. and days and weeks. <laughs> like the, the Sparrow family <laughs> yeah. in their little Times Square location. <laughs> <Yeah>. Sparrow. <laughs> Aren't they going out Sparrow. Sparrow. Steak and cheese subs. Mm. Oh, I remember steak and cheese subs. How long did I go to a place? It's right off. It's by the Comedy Cellar. It's off Sixth Avenue. I don't know if it's John's is the place where you can only order a pie, right? John's. Yeah, this is not that place. Yeah. Right around the corner from there, and um, well, they better learn how to make pizza if they're near John's. I follow yes, this right? guy on um, on Instagram. He was a producer of the Chew. We just did a segment with him the other day, and it's like NYC food guy or something. So I follow him, and I start taking notes. For when I come to New oh, York, I can actually go? find good places. I, I yeah. swear to you, you got to ask Roland. Okay. Roland, you you give him a, a type, he'll tell you the best in, okay. in that. Off the top of his head, I want it's creepy. Really amazing pizza. Well, he uh, said in in, in uh, go go Connecticut is the best and pizza in the country. And not paper thin really? pizza. Like I want real awesome pizzeria Regina pizza. Pepe's in Connecticut. Is, I've never been there. I think that's what it's called. He'll tell you that's it's the it's in New Haven. And uh, it's supposed to be the best pizza anywhere. Really? That's yeah. On the way home, we'll no, go get. No, some. here comes your answer right now. Oh, uh, Roland. Roland knows Roland, everything best about pizza. food. Be- best Don't pizza. Don't screw me because I will tell people publicly <laughs> yeah. that you picked the wrong pizza place in New York City. Ruby Rosa. Ruby oh, Rosa. Where's, where's that? that? It's two thirty-five Mulberry Street. See, honey, will you remember that? <laughs> he knows. It's like literally He's the honest. best pizza. It's oh. not. It's thin, but not too thin. Yeah. And the sauce is amazing, and it's actually pepperoni from Italy. What about the Ooh. place in Connecticut you love? Oh, um, Pepe's. Can okay. you write both of those down for me? Yeah, mm-hmm. that Pepe's is delicious. So. We're serious about our Which pizza. Which is better? So you're going to go uh, down? It's too different, though. New Haven pizza is totally different than New York pizza. Would okay. you go to Little Italy just to try the pizza now? I mean, yeah, I would go. Wow. Yeah, I'd go wherever. As long as time permits, I'm down. But if, you, mm-hmm. if you're healthy, it's that all would about the quest for good food when yeah. we have time off. Right. How do you stay so thin? How do I stay so thin? Yes, darling. Because I'm a tornado. Is that it? Yeah. Work it off. I just move. I'm always moving. Like yeah. spin at well, top extra, speed. Well, they don't. You like it's it's probably <clears throat> what a half a mile from the set to yeah. the to where you guys shoot. I actually got my best body working at extra because we have to walk so far to get to set, and I don't take golf carts or whatever. Generally, so I'm like shum, 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 shum. everywhere I go, I'm moving at top speed. But then you get sweaty. Oh boy. Not really. <laughs> you Luckily, keep the sweat I'm down. not a sweaty person. Yeah. yeah. All right, we should get him out of here. <laughs> Not before we talk about Chef Nick, because I am yeah. obsessed. Who's Chef Nick? Chef Nick. I don't Nick. know. Guys, Good. introduce us to this. Do the, the. It was the YouTube. I don't remember. The guy oh that, my no, 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 God! The, the fake chef. Oh, the fake oh, chef. Yes. Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah of course. And anything? Do you guys remember? He's yeah, no, of course. More brilliant than this guy. How do we get this guy to do more? Yeah, I, I know. He's really good. He's well, one of those like culture jammer pranksters. So he'll pop up when he's ready. He yes. yeah, yeah, he yeah, takes he his time. It, yeah, he waits. Like Al Qaeda fixes. <laughs> <laughs> Al Qaeda. He just takes. <laughs> it. I the, know. Thank you for introducing us. For all we know, improv everywhere is Al Qaeda. We he's just pranksy. Don't know. <laughs> he's distraction. I yeah. mean, what's your theory on the plane, Maria? Oh. Wow. Oh, uh, I was. Uh, I actually asked my assistant to do research for me to <clears> see if Obama or any of our top officials have canceled events this week because that would let us know that something seriously oh. crazy is going on behind the scenes that we're not being alerted to just cool. yet. Mm-hmm. So, I, I, there's well, no Super Bowl this week. Maria got her star with nightly <laughs> oh. news and like that's <laughs> the hardcore journalist roots Dateline. There's all this other Today Show like Maria's done right. all this stuff so she always yeah. keeps me up on this I mean this the fact stuff. that it was on in the air for so many hours is very creepy. Yeah. Concerning. Mm. And mm. and the other thing is that they said, I think it was um, Stephanie Goss that reported that the pings um, only mm. continue when they're in over water, that when you hit land, they stop. Really? Whoa. I'm, I'm pretty sure that's what it was. I have, to, I have to double crazy. check that. Hmm. So, I wonder why that is. Oh, maybe because it's so easy to get lost in over Well, there's like, mm-hmm. it happens every, however, you know, there's like a... Every hour or whatever, we well, override our pings. Weird. We're going to talk to Patton's uh, father about this after yes. the break. Call my dad. Ex Marine guy. <laughs> yes. Via Marine pilots, we call my dad. Yeah, yes. well, and they stayed within those aviation. Um, yeah, I call the them buoys. <laughs> the little buoys in the air. In the air. Right. I mean, well, yeah. They're lanes. Air lanes. Yeah. So, air lanes. It's, it's really scary. Because if this is the, you know. What a smart question, though. What politicians have canceled any type of an appearance that or an event? That's a, that's a really, that. that's a smart angle to look at. Thanks. That's something, Tricks of the trade, um, I guess, right? Yeah. yeah. I was just kind of Googling in quotes, missing plane. <laughs> 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 yeah. Something would pop up that helped me. <laughs> yeah. Well, because nobody right. wants to scare people, you know, and then especially if, if this plane has been hijacked and is somewhere on land and, mm-hmm. you know, but. 
We're sophisticated enough to know that by now. We would know by now. You think? Yeah, I think so. I don't know. But you know, oh, what's no. crazy is when you guys were talking I about... I think we are that sophisticated. You know, third world, third world country and, you know, they don't have the means to really kind of lead this investigation. Yeah. It makes me wonder as a journalist when I'm traveling to all these countries, how scary I put myself in these situations traveling on these random airplanes and don't these random countries. Don't you feel better, though? Like, I looked at the plane and was like, it's painted nicely. Yeah. <laughs> they can yeah. afford to have the best equipment. Just because the paint job is nice, I'm thinking, it's safe. Right. Mm-hmm. Well, yeah. apparently the, this was a 777, and the pilot, yeah. these are the elite of the elite planes, and right. the pilots that get to fly them are the elite of the elite. So mm-hmm. this wasn't some... I think what's freaking people out is we are so used to everything is available all the time because of yeah. iPhones, because of the internet. So for something this big to be missing, yeah. that's what's scrambling our heads. Right. Is, well, we should just be able to, can we just, I mean, it, it, there's, there's a part of it's like, we should just be able to do a Google search and find it. Yeah. Right? Yeah. You know, and, but no, but it's Google still Earth. a, it's still a giant Earth. world and yeah. there's places that we don't know where it's not, you're saying are. it's not one of those planes where it's like, have a good flight, Dr. Jones. <laughs> <laughs> the chickens. And- <laughs> but you guys were right too. When I don't remember who was saying it this morning. I think I was. What's 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 against? <laughs> Jim, was right. Jim was right. Yeah. What you know? Who's to say that someone didn't show up at this pilot's house and? Oh yeah, we were know, talking about that. Give him a little. What have you? An right. early hijacking of him mm-hmm. and. But you know these pilots when they get into the cockpit, there's so many kind of ways that they could signal. I think yeah. without someone knowing. But what yeah. if the person's highly trained mm-hmm. and they they they're watching and they know. Know yeah. what they're gonna do? I mean, it's or you turn creepy. or you just turn the guy. Yeah, maybe they were it your way. You go, you know what? Yeah, I like your yeah. way. No, you don't have to crash it. Just land it here. Uh, Josh yeah. is saying from Boston, the planes she's talking about continue over land and water, but stop when they go underwater. The pit. Uh, okay, That's what yeah. he's saying. But oh, oh. so that means Sorry. it could have oh, crashed or it could have. That's if he's yeah. right. That's if he's right. Of course, of course. Because <laughs> <Yeah, yeah. laughs> I already, I already said. I'm like, I think this is how it, what I heard. I was 100 percent right. We have Pat's having a heart attack, and then we. Have to go. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. All you right. guys Wait, are busy. Pat Lambert? Yes. Can he bring the creepy laugh in so they can hear it? Oh no, man, we gotta go. Oh, it's you so guys are late. Oh, you for your right, next listen. Gig. Yeah. Yeah. So it's it's called um uh, chasing Tracy Maria. Maria. Chasing I'm gonna notice Maria on Oxygen. Yeah. Tuesdays at ten o'clock. Yes. Nice. And you can watch her at Thanks, e- on Extra every night during the week, right? Extra, extra. extra. Right? Yeah. Have you met any celebrities? <laughs> <laughs> I think a few. <laughs> did you do red carpet for the Oscars? You did. Yeah. Is that cool? Yeah, it yeah. was actually. You know what? Um, for for Oscars, I generally just do the fashion, so I'm up, I'm above. It's a right. little easier. I can be in my UGGs and what not have wearing? to have the pressure of interviewing oh, everyone. Oh, okay. Yeah. Just looking at everyone's fashion. Well, those are always fun. comfortable, genuine interviews they do. I'm yeah. really nerve wracking, and, and even seasoned interviewers are having trouble with the actors because they're all panic stricken and unco- you know it's but, really awful. But do you still uh, panic when you have to interview or feel the pressure of interviewing? No, I okay. mean, it depends on what, what you're interviewing about and what the situation is. Right. I mean, for the most part, you know what you're doing if you're prepared and mm-hmm. you do your deal. Nice. Although Guillermo was getting everyone drunk at the end of the red carpet. I went up to him and he started interviewing me. And I was like, what are you drinking? I smell it on your breath. And he Whoa. goes, you want tequila shot? I'm like, all right. Wow. So, so, who's that? so I think that calmed people down From for the Kimmel rest of the show. carpet. Bunch of goddamn drunks. Mm-hmm. All right, let's get them out of here. Kevin, Bye, guys. Thank you so much. Thanks for coming on the yeah, show. No, you guys, yeah. I hope you guys like the show. Thank you yeah, so much. Take it easy. Right Good on. luck. Good, to Good meet luck you. with the show. Uh, Pat and Oswald's father next. Yes, yeah, please. That's a big get. Call him. Get to the bottom oh, of this. That's a huge get. The gentlemen are off to drop a deuce. Stay tuned for their progress. On Sirius XM. They're rich. Rich, beyond. And they pee. But they're done. Serious XM. All right, all right. Pat Oswald in studio. Doing the whole show with us today. Very cool, man. And we cannot say it on the air because somebody will take it. But let's just say Patton has given us what is or sold us however he wants to play it. <laughs> <laughs> no it is my gift to you guys you know what I, it's my gift because i this is something i would want to see but i won't say what it is uh-huh. the idea for what we are going to do once we do not or yeah. if we do not resign in this place fucking Patton is a genius that is good i love it how great was maria menuna she's dude wow. her sexiness is almost makes me sad it like she's crazy. so fucking fantastic i got i got an honest question for the room okay who really wanted to take that picture with her? 
Her being so beautiful. Oh, uh, yeah. It's very hard. To, oh, I did just to stand those. next to her. Oh, God. I got... No. I, are you kidding? I don't want to be... That was like when, <laughs> when I did Young Adult. I'm like, I have to, I have to take my shirt off <laughs> with the most physically perfect... <laughs> like, I can't take my shirt off with John Goodman or, you know, pa- right. or Paul Giamatti. No, it's got to be with... That's Kathy what Bates. I, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm getting at. Yeah. I don't want to be... It literally looked like she was sponsoring a little troll family. <laughs> she had got. She was an elf, <laughs> and fun. once a year they go and they help a little troll family trolls. to do. Yeah, that's what it yep. looked like. She's a she's a smart woman. Yes. She, By she, the way, and I I know she she was not doing this on purpose. She generally when she hopped out of her chair mm. and she was going over, she was like, "Oh my god, look! I got these marks from the chair on I my saw thighs." That. I noticed. And, yeah. and I was like. But she was like showing me like, look, check this out. I'm like, yeah. It was like a Benny Hill sketch. Like, do you think there's something wrong with my cleavage? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she's she's like a Jackie Kennedy, Boston sexy. Like she's yeah. fuck that yeah. Greek. That yeah. Greek Boston is yeah. drives me crazy. I got I, I would just lick her fingers. Oh, I got her makeup, makeup on. on you. Oh, my shirt. Oh. You better watch when you go home to the wife with that little makeup on you. There are like four creepy <laughs> merchant marine guys that. J- yeah. oh, God, she's like. She's terrible. like. Let's, let's take a picture. And we all were like, oh man. <laughs> oh, I love taking a picture. Too. Penn said she uh, looked like a like a '60s spy. She does. She looks yeah. like like Emma Peel from the Avengers. Right. That's how she was dressed. The little right. skirt. The hair yeah. was like '60s. High boots. Yeah. Just fucking sexy. Yeah. 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 Yeah, dan- dancing, uh, dancing in the background of the Dean Martin right. show. Gold diggers, <laughs> yes, exactly. Mm. The going on. gold diggers. Yeah. And eight months it took uh, to film the show. It's probably good. That's a yeah. lot. of perfect time for reality show. It's, it's not like a yeah. fucking two month quick shoot. After yeah. talking to her, now I understand why she did a reality show. Yeah. <laughs> she wants no. She wants to keep challenging herself. Yeah, she has yeah. a she has an, a very easy life in in entertainment, but she's bored. Wants to try to mm-hmm. do you know different and new things. Yeah. Uh, we got Patton's father on the line. Oh, oh good. Been thing. teasing this for like two hours. I Sorry. Think. Dad? Yeah, how you doing? Hey, what's up? It's your oldest son, Patton, the the one that went into show business and broke your heart? Yeah, yeah. You're All right. Hello, sir. Good morning. Good morning. It's Anthony and Opie and Jim Norton and uh, and your son. And uh, you on the phone. Yes. Yes. <laughs> we, <laughs> That's we, what's happening, Dad. We Sorry. We got a little of your background from Patton, uh, a uh, Vietnam uh, pilot. Yeah. Uh, F4 Phantom. Yeah. Pretty, pretty goddamn cool, I no, say yeah. right there. No computers. Yeah. yeah. And That's really right. had to fly that thing. See your pants flying right there. Right. A little bit. Nice. A little bit. And um, you also were an investigator, an accident investigator? That's true. Yeah. Um, was that for the... Uh, uh, the was that for the Marines? I, that was for the yeah. Marines, right? Yeah, you it, would was, look it was at, in the Marine Corps and the Navy, I... Oh, man. I went through post grad school. For it's that. like okay, uh, this let's uh, look at this crash. Oh, uh, a missile hit it. <laughs> it's like oh, that's <laughs> well, <laughs> a meteor. Yeah, a meteor. meteor. A meteor well, right. that's okay. Okay, ne- thank you for mentioning meteor. They you, are speculating. You talked me down after nine eleven when I was getting a little freaked out about mm. all that conspiracy stuff. And you went, no, this is what happens, and 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 this this mo- it, it, this uh, airliner, this missing seven seven seven. Is getting spookier and creepier, yeah. and I was going to call you about this anyway, but I figured why not do a public service and let them and and have, go on the radio with you, and maybe you could help us talk us through yeah. some of this craziness because they've been talking about it all morning and it's getting weirder and weirder. We panicked people this yeah. morning, yeah, well, and panicked everybody. Yeah, yeah a little bit. well, you know, first the thing everybody's got you, you, they got to quit making all the assumptions. They they, they got to mm. run with the facts, right. and they got to keep a. Uh, you, you, the first thing they train you is don't, you know, the pilot was a drunk. I'm sure it was his fault. No, you got to go find the facts and right. see what happened. Um, the, um, the, 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 the other thing is they're, they're flying in areas that aren't really a whole lot of airplanes up there. And we all know that. Mm-hmm. So, uh, they, they operate off these transponders. That's how they track them. Uh, the radar is very limited. Uh, so it, 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 they call it skin paint. So when they said they thought the thing turned left, you read that, uh, it's, it's really, uh, that's the, only a real guess. It's hmm. not for sure. Um, Even that part's a guess? I thought that they, I thought that was an actual, they knew that for well, sure. Well, they think that's true. Huh. I mean, they, they but, but the, the one thing that, 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 uh, I thought of first was the, uh, on these airliners, they have, they, the, the airplanes send data up through the satellites back to home base, probably in Boeing or somewhere, to mm. keep track of engines to make sure that 
they don't have just problems with them. Right. And they say that kept coming. So what that means is that won't work underwater. Right. So, so that means the airplane was in the air. And if they can, if if they prove that, then they've got to go out and figure out where this where this damn thing went in. I. A seven 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 is a very large airplane, yeah. and you're not going to land it on a dirt strip somewhere. Huh. You, you, it's got to be you know on a regular airport. So, yes, you know, so it's going to be probably somewhere in the water. But but so you don't think that that someone stole it and and landed it on a little island? That's that didn't happen. Oh, I, I I would like to know what island. <laughs> <laughs> oh really? <laughs> because I, they, I, I don't. There's not a tail hook on it, so they can't land on a carrier. So, you know what right. I mean? Right. How about right. Pakistan? If if they were close enough to get to Pakistan, if they yeah, did if they disable got it, Pakistan, that would you know that's 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 true, and they should of course look into that. But I, you know, I, I, the other thing that's very strange is nobody's saying anything. Yeah, yeah, that's uh, and, and that, everyone's and, looking at this that's point. Odd. Yeah, and when you say nobody's saying anything, you mean no governments, no nothing. Is, no, is that uh, weird? People say who claim they did this or stuff like that. Oh, uh-huh. okay, you're right. No one claiming responsibility. Right. But if they have future plans for that plane, which we talked about this morning, like yeah. to do something bad with it, like Anthony raised the the, the point of loading it with something and uh, and flying it into something, you've already got hostages. There's definitely a reason they wouldn't have have claimed responsibility yet. Yeah, that, that's true. Yeah, but I, I would, uh, uh, and, and I'm sure I will put it. There, I'm sure they're exploring that. They're looking at all all the possibilities. Mm-hmm. Maybe they're not saying a whole lot about that. But I mean, right now, they, they're, they're, the whole thing is to find where that thing went down. And, and right now, they they don't have a clue. It's just odd that also the transponder was turned off, uh, they said, in a very purposeful fashion. There's uh, two of them on with, there. Yeah, with, with the, the other one being shut off uh, 14 minutes later, mm-hmm. um, which which seems like a calculated kind of move. Sure. Uh, the, the lack of debris a week later, not washing up somewhere, anything. There's a lot of floating parts on those planes. Uh, that's a little mysterious. That's true. Um, and also, yeah. you, did you note in the paper, I mean, if you look at the map, how mm-hmm. far that thing could have flown? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, it, 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 yeah they, well, well, Patton said that it's amazing how much bigger the search uh, radius is getting yeah, every they, every day. They keep changing the search radius, yeah. which that is, in itself is a little creepy. Yeah, right, it just gets to me. bigger and bigger. Hey, it is getting bigger. And, uh, uh, you know, I, I, I would have, you know, I don't know what, I don't have any in, in, insight on this, but I'm sure the intelligence guys are are also looking at all the aspects you're talking about mm-hmm. right now. Well, okay, then here's yeah. my next question. Who's, who would you most listen to who makes the next statement? Because mm. every day the news speculates and the White House is saying, but who's, who is the person that we should actually be waiting to hear speak that will actually have some impact or weight? Well, right now the, uh, Pilot. the, 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 <laughs> the, respo- the responsibility Pilot. is Malaysia. That's their airplane. That's their problem. However, we have our uh, FAA is in there with them and our National uh, Transportation Safety Board. They have our, those people are in there. Uh-huh. And, and I think they're going to settle them. They've made a lot of calls that, you know, were sort of bad at first. Those people should mm. settle them down to make, you know, good information coming out of there. Oh, okay. Uh, I, 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 I think that you're going you're to get people with sources saying, I heard this, I heard that. I would sort of steer away from that, but but you know, take it in on one side, but understand that there, it may not turn out that way. Well, even if there's an inkling that uh, that it was taken uh, for you know evil evil use, sure, uh, you would think the United States would immediately put this kind of on a top priority. Um, well, I believe that, I believe that, I understand there's a number of U.S. ships over there. Mm-hmm. I'm sure our satellites are looking for it. Okay, right now. Yeah, yeah. And we don't even know that maybe some of our uh, people with uh, high flyers are, aren't out looking. Or right. You know, so, yeah, I think I think we're really under the, under the covers. You think a lot of stuff is going on that isn't I, being I told to, uh, to the public? Yeah, I do. How hard would it be for them if that plot is correct? If Anthony was correct, which he doesn't sound as crazy as I thought it would. Oh. How impossible would it be for them to fly from that part of the world to the United States undetected? Uh, It would be pretty hard. Even without transponders? Yeah. Hmm. Something would pick them up. And also, my question is, let's say 
the, again, Anthony's right, oh. and they uh, they stole the plane. Um, how expensive is it to refuel a 777? Would they have those resources? Yeah, they'd have to have a, uh, what, do, what do they carry, 100,000 100, gallons? I, I'm wow. not sure. What? I, I mean, they carry a lot of fuel. Nice uh, built-in pool. <laughs> pounds. I, I'm not, not, not gallons, pounds. That's how they do it. Uh, it takes a lot of fuel to fill that puppy. Yeah. And, yeah, and they wouldn't have access to that necessarily. Yeah, and they'd probably have to have some special ground support equipment. And With some like Saudi that. money, maybe. I'm blaming the Saudis already. Yeah, Here we I go. mean, well, you know, there's never been any proof other than uh, everything we've ever heard that would <laughs> yeah. lead us to believe that they're terrorist supporters. <laughs> oh, it's 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 okay. A few million bad apples. Yeah, there's only a few million bad apples. It's my favorite tough crowd line ever. <laughs> um, it's a, it's a real, you know, it's a real mystery right now. Mm-hmm. But I, I feel that there are a lot of things going on that we we don't know about, and yeah. it's, it's probably best not to, to know about. It. Can you think mm. of any uh, recent or modern? Modern day, at least, uh, occurrences that kind of look like this, where yeah. a plane has just disappeared like this? Uh, there was one, I'm trying to, there was an Ethiopian airplane one time that had a mm. problem like this, and uh, they, uh, they, they, they wanted to go somewhere, and uh, they, they got there, and uh, they wouldn't let them land, and they had to crash in the water. I, Jeez. Wait, I, is that the one that what? was hijacked, and they, the pilot oh, told yeah. them we don't have enough oh, right, fuel, and there's right. film of it going into the ocean? Right. Right, yeah. exactly. Oh my yeah. gosh! Yeah, that was just a bad move. The, the pilots told them we're not going to make that it. That was the one right off fly. the shore, right? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I don't yeah, recall. And, and the, the mm. other one with the Egyptians, the, the you sure. know the suicide one. Yeah, and yeah. That happened, and that it was real quick. And, and everybody's, you know, they they knew that. But uh, yeah, I, that's yeah. the only one I can I Oy. can think of. I can't. Yeah, I can't really recall plane disappearing like this. There's yeah. a lot of um. Un, there, there's a lot in this that is a kind of unprecedented it, just mm. in the terms of it's it's such a gigantic plane yeah. and everybody is looking for it now and they can't find when everybody starts looking for something they tend to find it right sooner or later and nothing's happening so that's yeah, that's yeah. also what's a little weird mm-hmm. Elliot. Uh, you, you know the uh the air france guy they took right them, oh took two years to, to pull it up now it took they uh, they found it, but it wasn't immediate. It was took a while to find that thing too. So, that's, but they mm-hmm. were getting some debris that was washing up, right, uh, right, beforehand. Found which, some debris out in the, in the water. Yeah, they kind of led him to believe, okay, th- this is what happened. The yeah. total lack of debris uh, is really puzzling. Yeah, yeah. that's weird. No, nothing I, washing I, up on shore. I, I, well, unless they. Went to an area where they haven't looked yet, or right. yep. it's well, so that far search out area. Got, you know, yeah. All right. Well, a lot of blue ocean out there. I, yeah. have, a, I have a one more question for you too. Like, uh, we watched a great documentary about um, Flight 800 TWA, and I'm not a conspiracy guy at all. But the way this documentary was done, it, it painted a much better picture for the fact that something took the plane down than I would have thought. What, would you, what do you know about that, or what's your opinion on that? Yeah. About the, the only thing I can, I, I'd comment on, the head uh, investigator, uh, I, I listened to him. Uh, he made a news conference, and he, he, uh, he said that that is absolute false. He said they had a... Hmm. They they are very solid. They they know that was the one. The fuel tank blew up on it. Yeah. Correct. Yes. And yeah. they they felt very comfortable in it. And this guy has got a great uh, track record and and uh, background. And uh, I, I believe him. Okay. Oh, mm. Okay. He's not going to go turning on uh, one of his own. That's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> they don't do that. Hoorah! Hoorah! Semper but, fi. But the, the big thing they got to do is just just don't make a whole bunch of some. Just go out and look at every. Every every little piece, look and run it down until you get get to where you are, and, and you know, look yeah. at all aspects. Mm-hmm. That's what's creeping everyone out is we have all these half assumptions, and your brain can fill them in. Yeah, and, and these yeah. make it crazy. On TV are awful. <laughs> the, the what? Some of the pundits on TV are awful. Really? Oh, bravo! That's, wow. Yeah, <laughs> good for Patton's dad. <laughs> yeah, they are. They, well, they I heard have... one the other day, and a guy called in and said, "I know what happened. They they turned the transponders off, so this country." Some country shot it down, and they ran out. And when they did it, they gathered up all the debris and took it in, so nobody will find it. Oh, jeez, <laughs> that's that's, uh, that's rough. <laughs> a little hard to do, right? Sure is. Gather yeah. a bunch of debris, and no one sees it. Yeah, yeah and that's a guy with this with a six figure salary every well, year saying this. House, he was calling from a house trailer. Oh, know? that <laughs> even better. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Well, Dad, thanks. Uh, yeah, thanks for getting on the radio with me, sir. Man. Enjoy you. talking to you guys. I'll see you in a couple weeks. I'm looking forward to it. Right. I love you, Dad. I love you, dude. Bye. 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 Sweet. I wish my dad wasn't dead. I know. (laughs)
<laughs> Mine See, too. I, again, I, I, I no. hope he wouldn't it be great God, if I would love to hear my dad, dad say yes. he loves me too. Oh my God, <laughs> that would roll. Oh, Hopefully, you'll both be able to see them soon. <laughs> <laughs> a couple weeks. Oh, I'll, just, oh, I'll just put another rock on his tombstone. Oh, it's the yeah, same thing. Again, every time something crazy happens with aviation, I just call him, and he's like, "No, look, this is what's happening. Oh, it's not logic. That big a deal. Relax. Calm the fuck down. They have to search." He's not yeah, convinced, he's like, though. He's not convinced that it's not faken, though. He's still. Oh, no, uh, yeah. yeah. He, but but again, he he because he's all about until let's chase the facts down instead of just you know. Going you know crazy, what could be so. some of the coolest footage I've ever seen is that Vietnam footage of the F fours flying in slow motion, dropping incendiary bombs in the jungle, and you just see the sparks and it's fire horrifying. coming up behind yeah. the F four. It's like. God, that is the death and destruction part. You got to kind of take out of it for the moment. Well, you just got to look and go. That is so fucking cool. Looking. There is so, there is something really <laughs> creepy when you see stuff like that. I know I know exactly. The I, I know the shot. About, yeah, yeah. And yeah, you go, you know the shot. I'm there. Y- there's that disconnect of that is absolute horror and death, yeah. and it looks gorgeous. It looks amazing. So yes. how do I process this right. when you see something that looks that amazing? And, yeah. yeah, and the CCR music, of course. Helps. And the, yeah, of that, course. that you know, of course. fortunate son that does help. Like we said earlier, exactly. Are, yeah, you seem to be uh, you seem to be very different than your dad. Yeah, well, I are mean, you guys alike in any way? Uh, I think we're alike in that there's certain things. This and this is going to sound really broad in general, but there are certain things that we just cannot bring ourselves to care about. So that there's, you know, st- but 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 we never starvation. We never. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, like there, there's a lot of like social stuff that people get wound up in, and my you know my dad was always a certain way about. You know, um, living in the suburbs, and I just there's stuff I just don't care about here. Like that, <laughs> that people are getting all wound up about. Like, mm-hmm. oh, what's going to happen to the, the, the this neighbor's doing something weird to this? He's like, I don't, care. <laughs> I don't care. I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. Um, but then there was stuff that I would get wound up about growing up. That he's like, I don't know why you get. I don't want. I don't know why you care about that. Uh, oh, it, we like, I, I remember one time too that again he had this. I got my ear pierced oh, junior boy. year of high oh, school boy. and didn't tell them. Yeah, I have to get my ear pierced because yeah. I'm dangerous, You're man. A and a big Ed yeah. Bradley fan. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, I'm dangerous. You better look out. And I sat down at the, at, the, at the kitchen table, and my dad's face, he had that. Here's what was weird about it. He had that look like, okay, wait a second. I don't give a shit about this. Because, again, it's like I've been through Vietnam. I, I've right. actually seen. But he. this is the closest this kid's going to get to doing something dangerous and cool. So now should I... Maybe react a little bit and roll my eyes so that he can feel it. Like, he knew that if I just go, I don't give a shit. I'm like, this is my rebellion. You need to react to this. Right, right. So he did. But he was so not committed to the, oh, so you got your ear. Like, he was trying to be angry about it. He's like, I just don't give a shit. See right through it. Do he doesn't care. You. Yeah, I do whatever. Yeah, I yeah. So there was that kind of, you know. Uh, and then I got into that same problem when I started doing stand-up. There were certain things that people... Told me that you're supposed to be focused on, and I'm like, I do but I intend to care about this. I don't I care, don't, right? I have other stuff I'm concerned with. So that's the one way that we're, and we're also, um, I'm very as, as I get older, and maybe he was more like me when he was young. But as I get older, I am all about I want the fucking facts before I go forward with anything. Mm-hmm. I don't care wh- about being liberal or conservative. I want whatever the right, facts right. are, and I will just I will follow the facts. Mm-hmm. Give me the fucking facts and the numbers. I don't want anecdotal evidence. I don't want, yeah, but I know one guy that, great, you just named yeah, yeah. one fucking guy. Like, that's how I will I don't go want pure forth. emotion. Yeah, I give me the guy. As, and the older I get, I'm just like, I give me the facts first, and then I'll decide. Yeah. Yeah, you know, so that's and then I'll get excited. Should we? Yeah, with that we should get Alex Jones on the phone. Yeah, we're, yeah, <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. we're trying to get. Are we trying to get him on today? Yeah, yeah for let's... real. Oh, I'm we, sure we have him on once in a while. Oh, I'm sure God. he has a good. Fucking has, he, has he ever burst take, into huh? tears while you're talking to him? <laughs> we goof on him a little bit. <laughs> A little bit. We do goof on him. Yeah, he's... Uh, His he... friendship with Jesse Ventura. Yeah. <laughs> but even he has to know Jesse is a boob. A bumbling boob. He has to know that. Yeah, all those guys. Good if God. you don't think the government knows where that plane is... Really? There's a, 
There's a guy named James Adomian who does the best. Oh, I've seen Jesse the, Ventura. The, he does a video uh, on. A, did he ever do the I video? I don't know if he does a video, but he does. DeRosa he, showed us one, wasn't it? Yeah. DeRosa. It was. But he literally brilliant. is. He. But it, it's Jesse Ventura taken to his logical extreme. Right. <laughs> like, just come in and say, uh, just say like, "Good morning." Hey, how you doing? Good morning. Uh, how, how do you know it's a good morning? <laughs> For all you know, why would you assume like everything? There's no way. <laughs> and I'm not That's doing it as good as the dome, but every good. single thing is questioned. <laughs> How do you know? <laughs> no. <laughs> Just because it's sunny and pleasant, maybe there's a... All right, fine, fine. Well, why do you know it's fine? Oh, when, oh God, Jesus so, Christ. It's so I perfect. was a Navy SEAL. <laughs> oh, yeah? Well, we weren't even talking about that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. That. I don't know what that has to do yeah, with your... Yeah, yeah. yeah that, that, that's also that great thing when people bring up weird... They'll bring up something where you're like, well, that's great, but that has nothing, nothing to do with what we're talking what about. We it's a weird thing into shaming you into not arguing with them any further. Yeah, yeah. Right, yeah. You know, well, it's like whenever I'm punching you somebody in a wheelchair, they always have to mention it. Like, hey. <laughs> <laughs> that whole thank you for your yeah. service thing he did oh, yeah. to you. It's like you can't argue with him about anything because he was in the service. And did, you, did you ever see these guys? They have a YouTube. They're called Red State Update, and they play like the most hardcore right wing guys. And they went to they went to Comic Con one year. And they put together this video. It's like two minutes. They just cut it all together. And at first, they're starting off. They're talking to an actual guy who's a Marine. He goes, "I just want to uh, thank you for your service." And then they literally are talking to stormtroopers. I just want to thank you for your service. <laughs> like anyone in any kind of uniform, they thank you That's for their hilarious. service. And it gets to the point where they're like literally. Talking to like Jawas. Well, thank you guys for your service. <laughs> <laughs> Fantasy game character people. Guys, we like like Pikachu guys and Sailor Moon outfits. And but yeah, they, they talked to a girl oh, in her Sailor funny. Moon outfit. Like you, you Navy people, just like, thank you for your service. <laughs> just, like, it's so great. Uh, yeah, this is funny. It's great. Yeah, my, you know, again, my, my my dad. This is a Marine veteran, but he yeah. a Vietnam veteran. But he's like, you, you need to. You, you have to also yes we need to obviously help uh the vets but but sometimes you also need to move on a little bit yeah or yeah. you can get trapped in that world mm. you know there has to be a balance mm -hmm. it's all about balance yes you know? so what's mm -hmm. the guy's name that you talk about the, the, the oh, the Jesse, oh. The Jesse Sam could you look this oh, guy up James Adomian yeah, yeah, that's amazing his name it's amazing how many how many uh, siblings you got I got a little brother. Yeah. Uh, on uh, who's uh, does a did a thing called Puddin. Did a um, a little series on YouTube called Puddin with Eddie Pepitone that was pretty funny. Mm. It was just you guys would love it. It's just this guy. I'll watch it after a Mason today. Break yeah. room. <laughs> it, they're literally like eight seconds long, and 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 this guy Eddie Pepitone comes in and he's just the worst coworker ever. One point, there's one where he uh, <laughs> he uh, opens a can of Pepsi and it kind of spurts on him and he just goes. Touche, Al Qaeda. Touché. <laughs> Everything is just the most hateful. Do you retweet him a lot? My, yeah, put. Oh, he script. is actually. Wait, no, your brother. There's another. Uh, is there another one you retweet that's your name or has is your last name? Uh, no. Nope. Well, no. It, he's Matt Oswald. Oh, it is Matt Oswald. Putin trip. Yeah. Okay. And he's really, really funny. I wasn't sure is he going really into the brother. business officially or? Well, well, I mean, he writes stuff and yeah. you know he does videos and stuff like that. But he has a. Um, and this is I'm not, I'm not saying this. This was said to me. <laughs> this wasn't. The, but but I was talking, hanging out with Judd Apatow, and he's like. I think your brother might be the funnier Oswald because oh, he retweets wow. yeah. <laughs> his Twitter. His Twitter stuff is so dark. I gotta and, follow him. Shit. Yeah, he's really Damn. funny. At Puddin Strip, he he was having his uh, uh, on New Year's Eve. He's like, boy, I hope uh, 2014 goes better than birth up to 2013 for me. Like just all these <laughs> horrible. His life is just so. He's really funny. <laughs> I just yesterday followed a parody account. It's obviously a parody account because it's Adolf Hitler. And, uh, oh, wow. and he's just, he's really like snarky and anti Semitic. So I. But, I, but I, he's like the hipster anti Semitic. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it's kind of like he's joking. You know, he's just joking. Yeah. 
Hey, that World banking's kind of in trouble. I have a nose who's responsible. <laughs> uh, yeah. oh my shit God. like that. Like, oh, you did I, there. I got you, Hitler. Whoever did that Gary Berghoff account. My f- I thought, oh, wow, yeah, I thought it was brilliant. Patton. I wish it had been me. That was one of the best things. It, Dude, it made me so, so happy. I, I, I don't care that it was fake. I love whoever did it. It was yeah. a masterpiece. He was perfect. Just bad-mouthing Alan oh, Alda God. and everyone. He kept calling him the turd in capital letters. <laughs> yeah. oh, looks like the turd's going to uh, be there. Just, oh, was that? <laughs> Great. The the only other, the, the fake account I'm following now that I think is so amazing is someone is doing a fake account for the Epcot Center. Yes, I it's, saw that one it's too. Clearly, somebody. It's like that it's, despises it's like an Epcot, Disney. It despises. It, it's also it's like it's their it's their PR person, like their online a social media person who's kind of having a lot of personal problems. <laughs> yeah. He's trying to talk about Epcot Center, but keeps having these breakdowns. I love the little public service <laughs> things of, the, like, an attraction that isn't working for some odd reason. Yeah. And, and stuff. It's it just so random. They pop oh, up. Oh, yeah. Please don't... <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Please don't leave. <laughs> Can we go to this Twitter account? <laughs> I want to see some Please don't. Tweets. Please don't leave used diapers in the shrubs <laughs> at the Italian pavilion. <laughs> <laughs> And then they do the, they do the Epcot Center mailbag. So people ask, like, what kind of acts have performed at, at, um, at Epcot Center? And they go, we've had, uh, sorry, we've had, we've had, um, uh, Bobby McFerrin, Michael Tamian, and Venom have all played. <laughs> Venom. Oh, hang on, wait a minute. Yeah, this is okay. It's the Epcot uh, Center account. It's so turn, turn, that, turn that screen okay. on. Oh, oh Sam gosh. Roberts. Oh, this monitor Sam. isn't on. Thank you, Sammy. Thank you. Here we go. Mm. Oh, it's... Question: What is Epcot's maximum capacity? Uh, and answer: Unfortunately, I can't tell you now because we're having a fire drill. <laughs> <laughs> Please be advised that the gentleman who signed hundreds of autographs for Epcot guests today was not Orlando Magic Guard Jameer Nelson. <laughs> what? It's so odd. It, it really is. I've been following this for about two months now. Oh, God. Robert Allen Epcot would have turned 100 years old today. The yeah. legendary Epcot Center co-founder died in 1984, but his spirit lives on. When I read that one, I'm thinking, wait a minute. No, Epcot's an acronym. For- and that, and that, and that, and that, oh, it's a fucking goof account, you dummy. <laughs> one of my favorite spots in the whole park is the Innovations Plaza. I like to go there on my break and watch people while I eat some yogurts. <laughs> <laughs> It's just they, yeah. they just capture it perfectly. Someone who's trying to be hip and funny, right. and just failing miserably. Yeah, there was another guy a while ago called Dad Boner. I don't know if you ever followed him. Dad it's basically Boner. your dad on Twitter trying to be cool. Uh, he's like, you know, guys, the uh, the these new RB sliders can't be beat. It's just like trying to be cool and talk to people. And it's just it's fucking I idiot. Love it. Yeah, it's I, I when when Twitter first came out I didn't get it and now I see how the potential. Can, yeah, how you can right. use it really well. So mm-hmm. it's And the the Gary Berghoff one was a perfect example of how I, somebody that person, whoever he is or he yeah. or she is, needs to pop up and do some other uh-huh. account. And and that the Gary Burkhoff account was so funny because there were moments I was like, "Is this Gary? That Burkhoff? could it, be." The, it, it just kept skating the line. His I'll whole take, take on the Battle of the Network Stars was perfect. He's like bringing <laughs> up names like Dan Haggerty and oh, fucking God. Uh, and uh, the guy that played Pappy Boyington. What the fuck is a? Uh, he clearly did his research because oh, he yeah. got mm. all the clip like those. Battle of the Network Stars clips where he's yeah. uh uh he had clips about how Robert Conrad was an asshole. <laughs> <laughs> it's like I, I could see that. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. That was a, a good one. Here's my here's my brother's Twitter from yesterday. Baskin Robbins employee who gave me extra scoop on my Rocky Road cone is the best pity fuck I've ever had. <laughs> <laughs> I often wonder how my life would have turned out if back in the summer of 87 I followed that carnival gypsy's advice to kill myself. <laughs> Holy shit. I know. It's just a little a dark. <laughs> oh, way dark, yeah. <laughs> Watching an old person eat plain yogurt is the most effective appetite suppressant I know. <laughs> uh, uh, anyway, so, yeah. That's good. Uh, fucking funny, man. Yeah, he's, he's a funny, funny kid. Dark and fucked up. Oh, wait, this is this, this going. 
I will be appearing at the Virginia Beach Funny Bone. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> March 20th Jim. through 22nd. <laughs> what? what? I can't quote my own Twitter oh, account. <laughs> What's wrong with that? It's a little yeah. racist, though. It's a, it's a little racist. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, yeah. Al Sharpton mentioned. <laughs> Does Al Sharpton know that his microphone's on? I know other people have brought this up, but uh, I've never yeah. seen a screamier person he's on TV because he's outraged. He's, he's always angry and snarling, and but he's also growling. He, it, beyond that, he's just bad at broadcast. I've right, literally yeah. seen him go today. Mitt Romney came to a town. <laughs> like, wait, what is, is, is his prompter on? What yeah, is yeah. happening? Yeah. At least give him something to talk about. He is always yelling. Yeah, you know. it's kind of fascinating. I wonder what that's about. He has no business being on TV. He well, I think it's it. that preacher thing, that reverend thing, you know? Uh, you got to yell everything. Yeah. Well, probably, yeah. yeah. I have to piss. Yeah, why don't we take a break? Uh, Pat and Oswald, where are you going to be, sir? Uh, next week I'm in Boston at the Wilbur Theater. I see that very and, cool. And then on Saturday I'm at the University of Rhode Island. And uh, if you can't make those shows, why not drive mm -hmm. up to Virginia Beach and watch the comedy silence of Jim Norton? He'll yes. be bringing some laughs on the sand. Yeah, like, I actually. I, I mean, I don't want to. I don't want to <laughs> blow the whole thing, but I, I I walk on stage now with a Malaysia Airline hat with my arms out, like going, oh, wow. really oh. an attention grabber. That's inappropriate. <laughs> no, I mean I'm not making fun of it. I'm oh, just okay. and I launch right into. A four-hour bit about it. Four what hour. I think happened. Four-hour <laughs> bit. Yeah, but I do it all as Iggy yeah. from Taxi. Oh, oh, wow. <laughs> you really come out and see Jim and his charts. Yeah, because <laughs> he's got a lot of string and a lot of uh, thumbtacks, and they're all... It's pretty amazing. Yeah, no humor at all. I've kind of turned into Lenny Bruce when he was reading court papers. <laughs> it's just me with fucking FAA charts. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah, a lot, of, a lot of diameters on maps. Yeah, you're trying to fucking tell me this plane landed? <laughs> Fuck you! <laughs> <laughs> the uncomfortable, scared audience. Relax. The Opie and Anthony Show will be right back on Sirius XM. After 20 years, you would want a break, too. But the guys are back now. Enjoy. It's the Opie and Anthony Show on Sirius XM. Ah, if you, if you held through the break... Got a chance to see the WWE Raw at Barclays in Brooklyn, March 24th. Talking a week from Monday, right, Sam Roberts? Oh, yeah. Yes. Is it reasonable? Well, it's free if you win. Oh, yeah. that is reasonable. I got to read the slug line. For the latest happenings in WWE or to see when WWE will be in your area, visit WWE.com forward slash events for tour dates. But we'll take a random caller right now to see yeah. Raw in Brooklyn. That sounds good. Yeah, and you hit those W's very well on WWW. <laughs> I had a. W. That's the old days. <laughs> How about double do? Double do. Double do. Remember when you We're used to have w. to go? What's the address? And people would go HTTP <laughs> colon <laughs> slash slash w w. Uh, honestly, it took forever. Honestly, we don't need the www. No, w you just fucking w say whatever w dot com. You can yeah. Google now in the fucking uh, in yeah. the address bar. That's yes. right. Yes, there's a guy. Uh, magic. Uh, uh, Peter Serafinowicz, British comedian, does a character called Brian Butterfield. You should look it up on YouTube. But whenever he gives an email address, just called W double W dot like that's <laughs> oh, W yes. double that's W. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> wow! Uh, I'm turning us. Oh, go we, yeah, we, we've awesome. had uh, a couple of uh, older older gentlemen here as as <laughs> guests that aren't quite hip to the internet. Rich and, Lowe. and when they try to give out their uh, <laughs> uh, their website, it's just hilarious. They always miss one W. It's W W dot, and they just don't know what they're saying, and it's adorable. Hey, it's gonna happen to us too. Hey, Rich Little looked pretty fucking good though when he was he in here, did. considering yeah. he was great. Know, yeah, yeah, he was a really I love old school fucking, guys. Yeah. Like that. As far yeah. as as far as old school guys, no and no one will ever beat Tim Conway. Tim yeah, Conway was man, great. He gave you guys oh, so was much he shit. fucking I, I started great. hiding. No, he was he fun was, though. I did well, enjoy him. He's I, also really funny. If you ever like, he and Harvey Corman were, would always fuck with each other. Yeah. So I would. I went to see some. No, I went to see a show, but but he was. 
It was at a theater, but he was in an upcoming show, and he had clearly written his own bio. Huh. And, and it, was, it was him and Harvey Corman, and they both were clearly fucking with each other in their own bios. In their own like, bios? Like, oh, consider the comedian's good. comedian, but Harvey Corman. <laughs> and he, like, he has a wife and children who he's never met. You know, something <laughs> that, and then uh, uh, Tim Conway was like, consider the comedian's comedian comedian. <laughs> so there, it's yeah. just the, everything with them is just. Yeah, mm. yeah. They were fantastic. Yeah. Well, obviously, yeah. Conway making believe he was had dementia. He just stood here. <laughs> what? Who? Remember when he walked in? He just stood right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're yeah. always just doing weird things. Oh and, my and god! He got, yeah. he got Jimmy so good with, with, with oh, one thing the- where he yeah he was like uh, who he said you mentioned. Um, someone from the show and he was like who and you started explaining to him who it was with this sad look in your eyes like oh no i'm i'm telling him who the people are he worked with well colin did point out uh i, I think he looked at the cover of his book where he's like looking up to the disc and colin went, ugh <laughs> and i'm like yeah you're right i wish i would have pointed that out <laughs> fucking snarky old jizz bag what about that <laughs> Fucking like legend, though. <laughs> yeah, big deal. And I was surprised <laughs> Colin you. didn't come out when the DeLorean broke down. Oh, so yeah, exactly. Down the street. Oh, Jerry, you know, that I just, uh, what do you think I have it back for? Hop on. <laughs> I'll Fuck. just put you guys around. You can, you know, film it. <laughs> I think you were still shell-shocked from the, uh, uh, from the Jake LaMotta interview with, with Jim oh, Conway. Because oh. that's... I was here for that. I just sat in the back yes, and was that's watching. Right. You were here for that. I fought Sugar Ray so many times. It's a wonder I don't have diabetes. <laughs> yeah, like, and then you kept going, "Yes, because of the sugar." Like, yes, <laughs> the <laughs> sugar every single thing. Time. Yeah, you just can't fuck oh. with Jake. He's the last living one from that era. It is. Yeah, was, he's the guy. I was a sad day. when he started oh. talking about the show he does, though, and his wife, whatever, started. And she's saying, like, "No, he that, wants to do this." Oh, like, no. And he, we let this guy retire. And she, she kind of but and hold me afterwards and was like oh. so you wanted to um i heard you wanted to come to the show i was like uh no but you wanted to get the i heard you wanted to get the information to tweet about it is that what you wanted oh, oh, no well let me give you the information do you have your phone oh, we'll tweet it out right oh, now boy uh and then i i kind of totally i didn't bring my phone with me and it's <laughs> Who does it my minutes ringing like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you pan it. Pan, pan what do i do what do i Jesus, bring a phone assaulting me, me. I'm not let's, let's get this. that tweeted out right now <laughs> yeah yeah yeah. Oh, I yeah. like that. Uh, although Jake did notice my my boxing knowledge about how I understood what his uh, defense was, you know, just a couple of really you uh, could have said anything. Yeah. You're right. You would have agreed. You're to smart. It. That's you're, true. Yes. Mm. Yeah, I think I said crackers are delicious, and you said you're smart. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, but he's Jake, man. He's fucking. Uh, that motherfucker was uh, oh, that life and that abuse and those fights and that that old school thinking. And uh, he was he was a professional before World War II broke out. That's just His, unbelievable. Like, those yeah. hands were like the thumbs were permanently back from like they they were back further than normal thumbs, and the knuckles were they were they had been so broken and healed. They were yeah. just like these little metal knobs. Like yep. it was just mm. they. they were, they weren't even human anymore. They were just this evolved... <laughs> just made to punch yeah, with. exactly. Just yeah. punching machines. Yeah. You think his Ugh. hands ache? I, I bet he can't feel them. Whole I bet body there's must no ache. feeling. Right? Yeah. That Apparently, age. like, Phil Collins has no feeling in his hands anymore because all the years of drumming, they drumming? Just, the nerve damage, he can't hold drumsticks anymore. Jeez. So, ah, yeah, there was there's an what? interview with him in Rolling Stone that is one of the Oof. most depressing. And I like Phil Collins. I think yeah. he's great, but he is, like... Reach this point in his life. Here's he, miserable. He literally talks about like, I guess it'd be okay if I just died. Oof. I'm like what the what? Well, Phil? you know, no. how about you get a fucking prenup, dumb <laughs> Phil? Stop trusting everybody. He's been through what eleven divorces yeah, with no it's prenup. Crazy. What a schmuck. We, we met, met him. him. Yeah, we met him, and it was like just he, depressing. He, Where'd yeah. you meet him? He was here. here. I got a picture with him. He came in here to do the show. No, 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 no. no. But oh, we, no. We, we went into the green room, and I was very excited because I. There was a time I loved uh, Genesis. Oh, man. And uh, yeah. I tried to tell him, which I guess is kind of stupid anyway. I'm mm. sure he's sick of hearing that. But he didn't yes, want anything to do with us. Now, like, he just wanted the pictures done and us out of there. I told yeah. you were the best singer in Genesis, but when you did Shock the Monkey, you know, it really uh, <laughs> I think it made him uncomfortable. Yeah, yeah. I'm sure he wouldn't have liked that. That, that. Boy, that, that affair with the Rosanna Arquette you had must have been amazing. <laughs> right. Wasn't yeah. me, you wanker. There was a guy on hold for three hours. I was finally going to go to him, and he hung up. <laughs> hung up oh. finally. He's saying that the uh, the band bossy YouTube video has been taken down because of all the 
Ridiculous Good. comments. Band Bossy. Band I don't know if that's true or not. Dumbest. I think the Band Bossy dumbest. thing is going to be a bust. Well, I think it should have been banned just by us knowing No, it's still it up there, been. right? I figured the guy was wrong. Because Beyonce, I figured she I'd use talks, it just to talk about it. It's People so listen. Dumb. She's delightful. Guys, I under look, I understand that words hurt and words have meaning, but you yeah. are just f trying to find words At this uh, point. and yeah, make yeah. them. I, 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 I wish somebody would do like a fake <laughs> campaign. Just think of some ban moist. Actually, you know what? Ban I do every moist. time. Every time I get naked in front of a chick. <laughs> <laughs> the word moist is more offensive than and more creepy yeah. than bossy. Moist is more moist. moist. Gross. Oh boy. Yeah, moist. Kid's not gonna moist be happy. is worse. No, moisture. Oh. Moist. Moisture. He yeah, uses. moist. Ban moist. No, he says moist. Ban moist. It's yeah. offensive. We could get it's that trending. Very mean. I tried it, but it didn't catch on. No. Yeah. <laughs> no. What word did I want to ban? I don't even remember. Um, oh, I tweeted out to ban somewhere. I don't remember what it was. Sharing. Probably. Yeah. No more sharing. <laughs> Enough of this stuff. I, I hate to bring up. Uh, or ban. I, I, no, I like to ban interface. Yeah. You need an interface on this. Yes, unless Shut you're talking up. about coming. Oh, <laughs> for the love of God. <laughs> <laughs> I keep That's forgetting where I am. Exactly. I'm forgetting lofty. <laughs> right. yeah, 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 and cock. Oh, okay. That's right. <laughs> Got it. I hate Sorry. to bring up a douchey moment from our careers, but when uh -oh. we were in Boston, we decided to come up with a word, uh, cunk, for girls. Oh, uh, well, it was for the genitalia, really. Right. Mm -hmm. And um, it was just a, an excuse to... Almost say cunt. Yeah, on our show. Cunk. Yeah. And then remember the kid. Oh, yeah. oh, it's douchey. I mean, as you look back, it, of course it's douchey. Yeah. But at the time, right. it kind of took off a little bit with our dumb little fan base. Oh, and then remember they came to us and said, we're not allowed we to say, say it anymore. Cunk on the air. <laughs> cunk. And I said, but it's a made up we word. We made that we up. We made this up. Well, it's We're not going to get fined. We know what it means. They were always worried about the FCC. I'm like, it's a word that isn't in any dictionary. We know what you mean by it. Remember that? That's maybe they just thought that they knew the bit was douchey and they were trying to help us. Maybe move that's on. yeah. Maybe that was it. Oh, you that is kind of gorgeous that you made up a word and in real time got it banned. Got it banned. banned. That's how offensive it was. Yeah, <laughs> right. That was a pretty good uh, outcome. <clears throat> Hullabaloo. Hullabaloo. That's a word we should get rid of. Oh. That's an uncomfortable word. Is what Hulla did to me. Well, there's a there's a, a British magazine called Viz, and in the back of every issue, they have the thing called the Profanosaurus, and they make up new curse words to apply to different situations and mm. slang words, and it's gorgeous. Some of the things they come up with, like you know, yeah. uh, uh, new. Um, God, what was one of my favorites? Was uh, they keep coming up with new terms for like really bad bowel movements. <laughs> Uh, so they have stuff like uh, Meatloaf's daughter, and just like oh my god, and but and, but it's like pages and pages every month of this shit. They're just trying to think of right. how do we not have to, how do we get by like fuck cunt shit uh -huh. and stuff like that. And it's pretty amazing. Those are tough words to forget though. Fuck cunt shit. Like those are really those yeah, are they work. They're the standards. They work. Yeah, they still uh, work, right? They're great words. Mm. Yeah. But the whole banning word, I, I kind of like ban bossy in a way, because it exposes that mentality, that I I embarrassing mentality yeah, in no the one, country. No one embraced this. N but no. it's embarrassing yeah. that yep. we yep. Uh, that this is really being taken seriously by some people. And and Beyonce has songs with the word bitch in it. Yeah, which yep. makes it like, what a fake. I know. So and also, it, it was what's. It's good to be a bossy. Per, you're 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 in control, and people yeah. are looking to you to get. It's not an insult. If someone goes, "Hey, you're kind of bossy." No. Thank you. Now get that shit done. Yeah. Right. And, and by the way, <clears throat> Tina Fey, when she was um uh stumping for Hillary Clinton, she's like, everyone says Hillary's a bitch. She is a bitch, and bitches get things done. Mm -hmm. And that's like that's good. She reclaimed. Woo! That was awesome. No, but that was like, <laughs> yeah. yes. Why are you? I remember I had a, um, there was this girl I used to go out with years ago. She's like, I don't know why girls treat the word cunt like the, like the, uh, a nuclear bomb. Yep. When I hear the word cunt, if someone says cunt, it means I'm winning the argument and the guy is flailing and desperate. And it makes me laugh. Like, I just, I've never been offended by the word cunt. It just, uh -huh. to me, it is. That means you're losing and you're free. You know, it I, starts a whole new argument, is what it does. So yeah, yeah well, you're probably some, losing. But. but some people. <laughs> but what she's saying is, she goes, I don't know why women mm -hmm. give that word the power. Whereas, yeah. whereas the, it, she, what she said was, when a guy yells cunt, you should go, oh, that's uh, you poor guy. Really, it, it came down to cunt. You well, lose. So I guess we're done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cunt mm. was never an atom bomb with girls I dated. There was always other things. No. Like, yeah, it was never really. 
Yeah, it's just because yeah. they. I mean, I'm, they're, they're dating me. I'm a pig. I have a vulgar <laughs> humor. That's true. But you know what I mean? Like that's that wasn't yeah. a big deal to right, them. Right. But there's other stuff that would have bothered them or whatever. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, Another girl's name. You guys yeah, want? exactly. Or, <laughs> yes. Want a Tim Conway dick story? Oh, really? What? Okay, sure. Uh, Carol, Jay you're on the phone. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's quick. Oh, wow. Uh, that Jim it. Norton is quick. Jay, what do you got, buddy? Staten Island checking hey, in. Hey, hey. Uh, um, yeah, I, I, I heard a story. It was on HBO, and I, I believe it was Mel Brooks had that Harvey Corman and, Mel, and uh, Tim Conway were outside the studio and they were drunk and the tourist comes up to them and asks them where some place is and he pulls out his dick and shows the vein and he says well if you take the 405 to and was pointing out his vein and his dick that's I have a man saying oh yeah <laughs> uh, uh, giving someone directions <laughs> on his dick <laughs> <laughs> I, can't I don't be know true. if that's true, but I uh, want it to be uh, true. Yeah. Of course. Especially I'm if true. The, I really heard that. Especially if the guy that approached him was like a, a Carol Burnett show fan. Like it's a wonderful hey, Sunday night this. show and the, yes. the family go, Oh yeah. Mr. Conway and he just fears whips his dick out and starts yeah. showing the vain highway. I, I'm gonna here's the thing. I don't think that story is true. I really want it to be true. Yeah. yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna make repeat sense? it in the future as yeah, yeah, true. Just make it, Absolutely yeah. with yeah. a different person's name. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hey how was Jimmy Fallon? Did it last night, huh? So much fun. Yeah. So much fun. That, you know, it, he, he's made the show an event again mm. where they try to do. So, I mean, not every night the, the event happens, but they, they pull shit off that then goes viral. viral. So when you watch the show, you yeah. feel like, oh, I'm up on what the Internet's going to be all freaked out mm -hmm. about the next day. Like, oh, I saw that last night. Did he try to do one with you? <laughs> Well, we ended up, uh, we just had a, you can actually kind of talk to him. Like you're, it's <laughs> like you're hanging out with someone. So we had planned a segment, but we kind of went off the rails a little bit in a fun way. And we started talking about my, um, uh, my employment history. My brother had made this thing for my birthday where he burned onto wood. I found this place. They do these really nice wood burnings. All the jobs I had before I became a comedian. Oh, They're just shit. awful. And we went through each one. Oh, and I just started kind of talking and bad mouthing all these places. <laughs> <laughs> and he was, and he was really, and it was at the point where he was like, it, it was, it got so good that he was like, what about this one? I'm like, oh, that, okay. And then I got, and then I talked about, <laughs> um, and I was laughing so hard that I missed what the band did. I talked about there was a record store called Waxy Maxies I used to work at in Northern Virginia. Yeah, Waxy Maxies. And I got fired because I mouthed off to a customer because they were playing. The two other people I worked with would play. It was all during the 80s. They were like playing Mr. Mister. Ooh. And I wanted to play like the Dead Kennedys Franken Christ. And um, <laughs> so uh, they and I just got fired. And then and then when they played me off, the band <laughs> played Mr. Mister's Broken oh, Wing. Oh, no kidding. The Roots played Broken <laughs> Wing and I funny. missed yeah, it. Yeah, they fucked with oh. you. And I went over there to thank them because they played me on to this song by The Coup. Uh, called Magic Clap that I did a, a, a video for. There's this uh, lyricist named Boots Riley who is the best lyricist in hip hop, period. And I and and I've been a fan of them. For, and they asked me to do a video, mm. so they the Roots found the video and they played the Magic Clap when I came out. I was so happy that I went over to thank him for the Magic Clap. I'm like. Did you just? We just played yeah, we just Broken Wing. That's funny. Like, oh god, I totally. Because <laughs> I was laughing so hard about what a douchebag I was at this record store. Do you know how good the Roots are? Fucking, the, I did Fallon a lot before they had the Tonight Show, and they play. I didn't even know they did it. They play, we used to make fun of Van Halen doing a song called "We're Back." It was like a made up song that I made up. Like Van Halen's new reunion song was going to be uh -huh. "We're Back" and better than ever. It was awful, <laughs> and they played me on to "We're Isn't Back." That amazing. What they played that? They're like you didn't notice? I like I was so fucking. You know, I'm walking yeah. out. I'm just so oh, worried about bombing. Hilarious. Yeah, we know the first time I did I the first time I did Fallon, they played I do a bit about when you listen to the Chipmunks Christmas song that, slowed down. Uh -huh. Um and the, the the chipmunks sound like normal that, guys and that guy sounds like a demon, basically. <laughs> and they did that when I walked out and I missed it because like you I was sort of like, I don't want to do bad. You're walking out, yeah. I was actually telling a story <laughs> about losing my wallet in a tranny bar. <laughs> And so I was concentrating on, uh, you know, not forgetting any of the facts. I, yeah. I want to get every nuance of the story down, <laughs> right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. and 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 thank God you guys are were harping on that Eagles song, uh, "Get Over oh, It." Yeah. Oh, yeah, oh, that over fucking. It. And that was at the height, by the way, of like the whole grunge thing, and it was uh -huh. like them coming. We're going to come back and show these uh, here we go, these fun, youngsters, these youngsters, yeah. what, what's what? Show like, how, guys. show how it's done. Uh, was it something that annoyed you? 
Oh God, that drove me. It, it I just, I cannot. It just, I, I just keep thinking about it. I don't know what to do. I mean, well, I'm, I'm, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, of course. Henley. Oh. <laughs> yeah, but you're crying and whining and pitching a fit. Pitching. Those are good lyrics. Fit. I wonder what they would what they Terrible. would do to my uh, my my inner child if they could. Uh, is that lyric not up? Uh, yeah, where's that what one? lyric? They, one? If, if I could find your inner child, I'd kick his little ass. That's oh. one of the lyrics in the song. I swear to oh, God. God. Oh, God. We so haven't played it that far. I thought pitching a fit was bad. Yeah, we didn't yeah. play it that far yet. Yeah, yeah. Like Henley. A fit. We can only like handle 30 man. seconds of that. Yeah. That's an Yuck. older man trying to sound like right. a young hip. Oh, absolutely. Like, I'll smoke up a reefer, you know, that- whatever. <laughs> Uh, and I oh, love uh, Henley's voice. Always yeah. have. Well, you know, that, that documentary, the first half, it's a three-hour documentary. It falls apart. The, the, well, no, it doesn't fall apart. What happens is the first half, the first 90 it's minutes, amazing. you are rooting for these guys. Like, right. yeah, they're, they're good for them. And they're right. living underneath Jackson Brown, and they're learning how to write songs. And they're right. young scrappers. You're like, way to go. Mm-hmm. And then at the exact halfway point, when the band breaks up and they start their solo careers, you go, oh, these guys are huge douchebags. Oh, <laughs> <now> I- <laughs> I forgot right. that. I forgot. Yeah. How, what horrible. And I also love, because you were doing the, um, you were watching the video, you were born in the city. Uh, yeah. So when, when Glenn Fry's bragging, he's like, yeah, I did um, The Heat Is On, and you were born in the city, and they pull in on the Billboard chart, and the, um, you were born in the city is number three. Number one is, uh, the starships we built this city. Oh no! Number two is that heart song of uh, like what about love? It was like all right. the douchiest Shit. music by people you used to like. Yeah. So he was. It was wow. that era of people from the seventies that were awesome. Now doing this crappy right. synthesizer awful uh-huh. like comebacks. Overproduced. I was like, yeah, and, yeah, yeah. That's when you had your solo career when everything was awful. Wait, you didn't like uh, we built this city on rock and roll? <laughs> uh. That gets me pumped. <laughs> <laughs> well, oh, it, it, it is the song I do my abs to, but it doesn't mean I like it. <laughs> it's a guilty pleasure. Come on. Oh, dun, man. Dun, who counts the money? The dun, money. Dun, 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 underneath the bar. Whoa, I can't believe the radio is letting them play this. <laughs> I mean, they're just, wow, they're just laying it oh, out. shit. You had a funny joke years ago. I saw you at the, at the uh, in, in the fucking improv in L.A., mm-hmm. and you were doing something about Jack FM, and you were like, and how oh. unpredictable it was. Like, we don't know what they're gonna play. All right, yeah. It was such a perfect fucking like yeah, complete section of shit that was. Yeah, right. Exactly. They, we don't know what we're gonna play oh, really? next on this computer printout they hand <laughs> us. I mean, Jack, what's, what's gonna happen next? <laughs> I don't know. You're gonna play one of the ten songs you play in rotation. <laughs> Crazy. Maybe? Yeah. Well, it's also like I hate when um, rare stations do that. Uh, we're doing uh, the Labor Day weekend countdown of the 500. Yep. In other words, it's our normal playlist. In alphabetical order. <laughs> you don't want to miss it. Well, some July, the Firecracker 500. Uh, so, yeah. some, then they feel like they're getting clever by going, well, this time it's Z to A. Yeah. We're going backwards, starting with ZZ Top. You might not be able to take it. Oh, so bad. That's you belong to the city has put me in a bad mood. <laughs> I'm I sorry. Well, thinking well, about that you, lame song. But do you know what they did with that song? Were, they had, they had uh, local uh, traffic reports for every city. What? No, wait. You didn't you know that? Be- yeah. Oh, no. Uh, uh, we, uh, we built the city. We built the city. I'm sorry. Oh. They used to, uh, yeah, they put in their own look when it was like, you know, that traffic about report? San Francisco. <laughs> But every city had their own yeah. version of that that the band cut. I remember B.A.B. That's how bad they wanted that song to work. Uh, B.A.B. Worked. played one. Right. It was like, <laughs> traffic on the Northern State Parkway. Right, right, right. Uh, sorry, just, Jimmy. I was oh, thinking, no, no, I was thinking you, that before. You're right. I remember that. And that, that was actually, I, I hate that they did it, but it was brilliant. <laughs> It was brilliant that they did it because it worked. Remember, you guys were going over the "You Were Born in the City" video, and and I couldn't see it, but I know what the video uh-huh. is. She's like, "Look at that cigarette tackling." And he went, "What a dip!" <laughs> <laughs> like the guy cool. Sometimes, but he's <laughs> sometimes the simplest thing just works. You don't have to get too. <laughs> So Too even deep if you with had, it. even if you've never seen the video, you could visualize everything you were looking at, just the weird right. the jacket kinda open, the cigarette thing, like, look out, man. It's like, dude, you're forty seven. Just uh, calm down. Yeah. You know, those just, horns those horns make me <laughs> upset. I still don't know where I still don't know where he was walking to. Uh, <laughs> just walked all night. Yeah, just like a smoky about, night with a girl. Right. 
<laughs> How about show us the destination finally? Yeah. Boys of Summer is a great fucking post eagle song. This that you know, <sighs> yeah, Boys of Summer is that's a terrific love that song. Love that. And that's actually a song about that's one of the few songs where he acknowledges I'm getting older. It's it's going away and I got to face this shit right. now. Like yeah. that's kind of cool. It's like what I'll do is I'll bookend that with a uh, Summer Nights by Grease <laughs> and it's got like, the whole summer theme the young and the old. Oh, Jimmy. <laughs> I do. I was actually listening on Spotify. I was listening to the Grease uh <laughs> Which is odd because I own it. I was listening to the fucking uh, really? uh, soundtrack. Yeah. It's great. I, I do got to say, I went to, they had one of those Grease sing-along screenings. And uh, so I went with a bunch of friends to to make fun of it. And then we all ended up just sitting there going, I think we know all these fucking Absolutely. songs. <laughs> singing along. <laughs> like I, yeah. a good time. I mean, and not just Grease, Lightning, and Summer Nights. We're just saying, hopelessly. Yeah. Uh, I'm like, oh my God, do I know all these goddamn words? <laughs> yeah, not only do you, do you know, but like, you, you, you say it the way she did to you. <laughs> 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 no. yeah. There are worse things I could do. Oh, my God, I even know Rizzo's song. <laughs> I think you secretly wanted to go there. Pat. Yeah, oh, I, come on, that's a that's a goddamn great film. Yeah, it sorry, is, it, it is a goddamn it great film. Certainly is. You know yeah. what he was doing with her in the sand? You know, yeah, telling her to turn oh over and pretend she was a guy. <laughs> <laughs> hey, but, no, yeah. hey, could you turn? Over? Hey, Sandy, pretend you're Kaniki. <laughs> I just love. I just love the fact that in John Travolta's gang there is the one high school student who is clearly 54 years <laughs> yes. old. Is that the guy that ended up on um, on Gary Sand Shandling's show later? Yeah, the, the, the curly that, hair guy? Yeah, yeah, yeah he's yeah, like yeah. in his 50s. Yeah, he, yeah. They didn't even bother. High school. Yeah. Well, even Rizzo being, you know, nah. oh, it's just a high school girl. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> really? Stalker Channing? Don't you gotta go pick up your kids yeah. right now? <laughs> God, how, how hot she? was she in that movie, though? God Stalker Channing? It. Stalker Channing in Greece. Oh, really? You liked her? Oh, are you kidding? She she just looked nasty. Like, she, oh, she did, awesome. Because no. he sounds like a drag. <laughs> oh, uh, uh, yeah, God exactly. Damn it! Sounds like he wasn't slinging dick properly <laughs> under the boardwalk. <laughs> Sounds like he wasn't filling every Rizzo. hole you have, sweetie. That's hot, uh, huh? Yeah, she uh, was uh, hot. I'm sorry. I don't like a perm. Perms you know really and, bother me. Uh, and and when, when she was alone, she was a little sensitive about things. Let me see. What? She sang her little song about how sensitive she was. Uh, you what know? was the song? There, there are, are worse, worse things, things I can do. I can and she's know. she's got a hard, brittle shell right. over this tender little heart. Oh, poor oh, Riz. Should we play yeah, one? Poor Riz. Should we play one? Guys? I wouldn't mind hearing that because I haven't yeah. heard that in years. Oh. It's beauty, it begins and ends with beauty how school she, dropout for how me. Did, <laughs> how did she have a bun in the oven when she was two years into menopause, by the way? <laughs> <laughs> Old Damn cast. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here we go. Oh, yeah. Oh, look at her standing there, a little sad looking. I was telling you about. Oh, see, oh, they gossip about oh, the whore. Mean girls. Oh, oh yeah, I remember oh, boy. Then go with the boy. Oh, too. Patty Simcox for Carnival Queen. Even though the neighborhood mm. thinks like a tramp. Trashy. Trashy. No good. Oh, great. She has hair like one of the strokes. <laughs> <laughs> Bay City Rollers hair. <laughs> yeah. Uh, she's supposed to be just a high school girl. Yeah. Yeah, Look exactly. At her. Jesus Christ, she's 30. She's got a little bit of a, a bunt going on. Uh, now we'll just tear apart Stocker Jenning from 40 years ago. <laughs> exactly. She's fantastic in this. What are you talking about? Uh, I know. I like your girl with mutton chops. Love of God. Don't you dare. Wearing a football helmet with no face mask. No. That is every man's doom right there. <laughs> No, she's a girl that would fucking eat your ass because she had to to get yeah, you to call again. That's, <laughs> that's what she did guys. to Kanicki. Stop your chanting! First lady on West Wing! <laughs> no one's safe. God damn it. Oh, she's not man. that bad. I mean, big dark eyebrows. Oh, oh no. She's not believable as a high school girl, though. No, well, I don't, none, none of them are, none of but them it doesn't are. matter. None of them are. I sure was. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Like me. Uh, me! Yeah. Uh, yeah. Remember how sexy Sandy got at the end? Holy oh, crap. She had nothing. She had no legs, no ass. She's in those leather pants. And her per I like when she, she, she permed good. her hair. I thought it stunk. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Tell terrible. me about it, stud. Did yeah. she say that? Of course she did. Oh, yuck. She put the cigarette out. Stud? And then they went on to the Shake oh. Shack. Yeah. <laughs> What's wrong with Sam? He's laughing. Right. I just think it's about coming. time that the Opie and Anthony show analyzed Grease. It really is. <laughs> it's been a long time coming. It's, uh, yeah. Well, well. Come on, big finish. Bring it home. 
Bring it home, stalker. Yeah. Yeah. Now she comes oh. back around and doesn't care anymore. Oh, go get oh, Kanicki. Is that Kanicki? Oh, that's Kanicki driving off in Grease Lightning. Oh, God. <laughs> John Travolta's head comes up from his lap. <laughs> <laughs> Oops. Uh, we're going to have to re- not good. shoot that. Well, there's kind of, there is a, a kind of a gay subtext yes. between those two characters. They keep bringing it up. Like they'll hug a yeah. little too long and then stop and, then and start combing their hair yeah. and yeah, get away away from each other. But yeah, yeah. and him being his second and yeah, you'll yeah. be oh yeah, really kind of What's his that lieutenant. Mean his second, his like guy, for you the, know, for the and for the drag race for the big race the down at Thunder Road. Hey. Jesus Christ, I know a lot about that <laughs> stupid You sure do. You fucking executive uh, producer. You know a lot of, a lot about musicals. I, you, uh, I know. Well, well, let's talk about Pippin now, guys. It is fabulous. <laughs> there's, yeah. a, there's a video clip I put up of uh, a while ago of uh, when I first got little Beavis, my, my little cat, and he was eating. And uh, I, 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 I videoed him, and in the background, you can hear Grease is on TV. Oh, this is great. <laughs> just, you faggy. There, there, there are dowagers who don't put up as many cat pictures as you I do know. on Twitter, for God's sake. I sakes. love the little Beavis. Which one is it? He I gotta hear this now. I think it's the one where he's got a fuckload uh, of food. He's a very little kitten. God. Yeah, the one, he's got a shitload of food. Go to the video. It's titled Lonely it. Old Queen. <laughs> 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 yes. Indeed. Beavis and I were watching Oklahoma again. <laughs> <laughs> that, 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 that's a wonderful it's show. I wish they fabulous. Back seven and, uh, brides for seven brothers. Uh, don't even get me started, honey. <laughs> Beavis, ma- bring mommy her slippers. <laughs> Beavis, come here, honey. <laughs> The love of God, oh, guys. Yeah. Sam, where is it? I don't yeah. know, Sam. That's all right. Not, yeah, well. Yeah. Why not? What are you going to tell Oh boy! Then the, boy, the show really tanked. We couldn't find the right cat video. Yes, I know because there's so many. <laughs> <laughs> little Beef. Little Beef. Mm, he was eating. I don't know. It's my little Beef. He thinks he's a person. He's so. He's a dolly. You want to hear something really smart that I said when I was a boy? <laughs> oh, oh boy, here Jimmy. We go. Um, I was very young, and my cat uh, John. Is it the one you farted in uh, his Not, face? That was the same cat, but different oh, okay. thing. <laughs> but someone had said something about because he he had he was a very like lovely cat. Uh-huh. And someone said he had great personality, and I said, no, he has catnality. Ooh, okay, that's pretty bad. I want to thank uh, Pat Oswald for yeah. stopping yeah, by today. Cute story about Absolutely. my youth. It just Sam? killed it all morning. It was just amazing. <laughs> catnality. Um, I heard it. I replaced bad. person with cat. So, so stupid. Yeah. Virginia wow. Beach. The- yes, I'll be at the Funny Bones. <laughs> if you want to hear more, uh, yeah, more real life uh, humor like that, yeah, humor from real. He just, you know, he just take. He doesn't have to make this shit up, guys. No, he just him. lives his life and uh, take the terrible, awful things in my life. <laughs> <laughs> March twenty through twenty second. The good thing <laughs> about Virginia Beach is, like a lot of you didn't know that story was coming. So luckily, yeah. plenty yeah. of seats available. And, uh, uh, and make sure to watch my special on uh, April sixth, Sunday, April sixth at ten p.m. on Comedy Central. Where There'll be a lot of uh, patnality. Oh, I yeah. like that. <laughs> that. That kind of combines uh, both because you are a person, so personality and it rhymes with cat. Thank you. Yes. And thank the you. Wilbur Theater next week. They Wilbur have Theater you, next week. They have you doing something in L.A. tomorrow. Uh, that's really? oh, I'm at the I'm at the Largo, but it's sold out, so I didn't want to. Ah, the Largo. So you got to fly out of here to do that for. I'm flying tomorrow. out today. Wow. Oh, Off I go. How big is Largo? Uh, about 200, 250. That's like, uh, like what, what's the room that used to be here? Uh, that Jeff Singer uh, the, used to uh, 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 eating it at the... Yes. Uh, God, I can't think of it now. The hip, I can't think hip of it room now. downtown. I, I know what you're saying. Yeah, yeah. It's it's great. It's a really fun show. And, uh, do they still do it? Uh, here in New York? Yeah. I, 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 that, I don't know. I know that, um, I do one Saturday a month at the Largo because I don't want to wear it. Hey, welcome. That's such a good room. I don't want to. Nice. I don't want to go, no, God, enough. You tell stories there, right? People tell stories or you kind of go up and, I mean, it's, it's stand up, but then sometimes people do characters. There's a show first Saturday called The Thrilling Adventure Hour where it's like a live mm-hmm. radio show, but it's brilliant. It, uh, and then, uh, Oh uh, God! Sarah Silverman does a regular show there now, and so it, it's great. It's a Very really cool. good room. Yeah, yeah. I have this thing I'm doing where I'm uh, I'm like I'm I'm pop locking, and I'm kind of trying <laughs> to find a place to do that to music. If and I tell stories. If you know, I'll 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 DM you if you're ever in um, L. A. on a Saturday and I'm doing one of my shows. I'd love to have you on. Yeah, I would love to Pat do it. Pat and, and friends. I hear the room is is really good. Oh and- God, it's so great.
It's so great. Whenever I hear that, I go up and shit the bed. <laughs> <laughs> I always do well when oh, I hear Jesus. it's a bloodbath in there. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, yeah, what, what's that? Um, the, the Sklar Brothers told me one time the worst thing they've ever heard. They were about to go on stage. It was a <laughs> terrible room, and the guy that was coming off, all he said was, uh, don't even breathe. Just, like, walk <laughs> oh, by, like, don't shit. even give them a second. It is so oh, bad. Oh, wow. Don't even stop to breathe. Just go, and they're like, oh, this is going to be a fucking nightmare. <laughs> when you hear that, don't even give them a second. No pause. Yeah, yeah they'll no. just and jump right in. Yeah. So Fucking animals. Let's start our weekends. What the hell? Pat, yeah, thank why you. Not? Guys, thank you. Please come Fun. back sooner than great. later. Love yes. having you on. All right. And Maria's show too. On right, Tuesday, right, she right. was really uh yes. she's a lovely woman. She was great. And uh, her husband was a very nice dude too. So uh I'm her boyfriend. So what channel look? again? Oxygen, it ten o'clock on Tuesdays. It's called uh yep. is it Chasing uh Maria Menudos? Chasing Maria Menudos. We, we got a copy of the first show. Now I gotta watch it. I will watch it. I feel bad we didn't watch it ahead of time, but we I just lazy. didn't yesterday. I got caught up in writing. <laughs> <laughs> See all you right. guys, Mundi. Nice. Bye. All right, I bye want bye. to take this opportunity to thank you all for listening to the Opie and Anthony show. You know, as always, we as people enjoy the things we enjoy, but all good things must come to an end. And as we reach the conclusion of the Opie and Anthony show, instead of being sad, we can look forward to what comes next. So remember to think of this not as the end of dirty jokes, but... The beginning of the whole new set of ones. Till next time, take care of yourself and each other. Sam Roberts is coming up next.